can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 941, Homeless Kids in the City The crowd at the haunted house only dispersed around noon. Seeing that no one dared to challenge four-star scenario, Chingu had parts of the ghost employees return to their own scenarios. As more and more scenarios unlocked at the haunted house, there was a clear problem, Chen Gu did not have enough employees. I need living employees that are reliable and ghost employees that I can reason with. Chen Gu sat in the staff break room and toyed with the black phone. He looked at the spinning wheel that operated based on the visitor's scream, and his fingers wandered over it. I've spun out four baleful specters. If I get one more, my title will upgrade. I desperately need employees now, but what change will happen after my title is given an upgrade? His fingers tapped on the table, and Chen Gu narrowed his eyes. The haunted house has collected an exorbitant number of screams already. Should I throw caution to the wind? After all, the title will eventually upgrade. If I use all the screams now and spin as many times as I can, I might get something other than a baleful specter. That would be a good thing but Chen Gu was worried that he might get all specters, which would be big trouble. Never mind, I'll wait for the visit to Futuristic Theme Park to be over before I try anything else. These things can't be forced. Chen Gu abandoned this dangerous idea and lay down in bed. He was about to rest when he got a call from Director Luo. Xiao Chen, are you sure you can handle the visitation to the Futuristic Theme Park tomorrow alone? I thought you would take some employees with you. Director Luo was worried about Chen Ji's safety. Don't worry, even though I am alone, I have many people who will lend me their support. Chen Gu was not worried. Director Luo, how was business today? How was it compared to the futuristic theme parks? The visitor number and turnover were not as high as theirs, but were not that far behind. Director Luo sounded confident. The next few days will be key. As long as we can successfully survive this holiday period, we will have enough assets to upgrade our equipment and do something else. That would be wonderful. But you have to be careful. The success rate of the futuristic theme park is not as high as they expected, and they lost face today, they might come after you tomorrow. It's fine. I'm not worried about them. If anything, I'm worried they won't come after me. Chen Gu smiled into the phone. As long as you have confidence. Other than that, I must remind you of something. The theme park is important, but you have to care about your health. Don't think that you can do anything you want, because you are still young. After that, Director Luo hung up. Director Luo has always been kind to me. Is it because of the haunted house or Luo Ruoyu? Chen Gu put down the phone and stopped thinking. He ignored the chaos that was happening on the internet. He hugged the white cat and fell into a slumber inside the staff break room. At 6.30 p.m., New Century Park ended the day's work. Everyone had worked their asses off for the day, but they did not feel tired or bogged down. The previous New Century Park was like an old man who was entering his twilight years, but that day, it was given a second breath of life. Everyone who treated that place as their home finally saw hope. The employees at the haunted house were tired to their bones. Chen Gu gave them an early break. He took the broom and mop as he cleaned around the haunted house quietly. This was something that he had to do every day. Cleaning this old place would give him some semblance of stability and order. At around 9 p.m., Chen Gu had a simple dinner. He was about to leave New Century Park to head to the mannequin workshop when he saw a student standing at the bus stop across from the road. The child had been watching New Century Park. She stood alone in the shadows, and she wore a crumpled school uniform. Is that the uniform from the School of the Afterlife? After recognizing the outfit, Chingu immediately jogged over, but when he crossed the street, the girl disappeared. Where did she go? Narrowing his eyes, Chen Gu soon discovered an old exercise book left where the girl had been standing earlier. Turning it open, there was only one sentence written inside the book. Now that the home is destroyed, I have nowhere else to go. This is one of the students who left the school of the afterlife with me. 
A small part of the students who left the ghost school managed to wake up from their coma, but most of them had nowhere else to go. Chen Go held the exercise book and looked around. He said with sincerity, if you don't mind it, why don't you follow me? The pedestrians thought that he was mad and walked away from him. Chen Gu did not think much of them, he held the exercise book and continued to scream. A few seconds later, the girl in the crumpled school uniform walked out from the shadows. Her hands were gripped together, and she looked nervous. It's okay. I promised that if you guys have nowhere else to go, you can come and find me anytime. Chen Gu extended his hand at the bus stop that was empty. You can call me Chen Gu or boss, whichever you prefer. We have a big family, and everyone is very nice. Air. Would you like a glass of milk tea? There's a new store that just opened near here. Come, I'll treat you. Under the streetlights, the city flickered by. Cars rushed up and down the road. Chen Gu approached the pedestrian crossing, talking to himself, occasionally laughing like a child. Chapter 942 New Nightmare Mission Looking at the Passing Cars Chen Gu held two cups of milk tea and walked down the secluded path. From the conversation with the girl, he found out that she was a student from the School of the Afterlife, and other than herself, there were many lost students who were wandering around the city because they had nowhere else to go. Do you know their location? We'll bring them back. The girl did not reject Chen Ji's suggestion. They first returned to New Century Park to grab Yan Danian's comic and then went searching for the other homeless children. They busied themselves until midnight, and by then, there were about 60 lingering spirits of homeless students in the comic. They were mostly from the same class as the girl. Most of the students had already given up, waiting for the sunlight to disperse them, but Chen Gu had shown up before then. Do you have any friends who might need help? Chen Gu patiently confirmed with every student. After making sure that he had not missed anyone, he returned to New Century Park. He summoned Ol Zhou, Duan Yu, and Ol Bai and had them introduce the haunted house to the children, settling them into the school of the afterlife scenario. This four-star scenario had a serious lack of employee, so the arrival of these students helped Chen Gu solve a big problem. If only you guys had come a day earlier, oh well, this is Lu Gang's loss for his inability to experience the true terror of this four-star scenario. After settling the students in, Chen Gu returned to the staff break room. I'm going to the futuristic theme park tomorrow. I'd better get to sleep early today. After switching off the light, Chen Gu hugged the white cat in bed and took out the black phone to look out of habit. It was already midnight, and the daily quests had been refreshed. As he scrolled through the black phone, Chen Gu suddenly sat up in bed. The three new quests were Recruitment, normal difficulty as the scenarios expand, you need more employees. Please recruit three new employees before dusk tomorrow. Safety precautions, medium difficulty, please install at least 20 surveillance cameras inside the new scenario, the school of the afterlife. Neighbor, nightmare difficulty, you wouldn't have expected this since you rarely return home. The day before your parents disappeared, something terrible happened at your home. I know you are curious about what happened. Perhaps you can ask your neighbor about it. Chen Ji's eyes focused on the nightmare daily mission. He had not seen one in a long time. The normal daily mission exhausted time and effort while providing average rewards, but nightmare missions were different. This type of mission was very dangerous, but it was a mission that would reward Chen Gu with a supernatural power. In the previous nightmare missions, Chen Gu had obtained the mortician skill, Yin Yang Vision, Living Doll, and Ghost Ear. Every single one of these abilities had helped him greatly. Other than that, Chen Gu realized something about the nightmare missions, all of them were related to his parents, and they all seemed to contain hints to his parents' disappearance. If I do not accept it, the daily mission will refresh at midnight tomorrow. Chen Gu looked at the time, it was 044. Such perfect timing. After giving it some thought, Chen Gu pointed at the nightmare mission. Lucky specters favored, are you going to accept the nightmare difficulty daily mission? The mission is extremely dangerous. 
yes. After confirming it, the details of the mission appeared on the black phone. Neighbor, nightmare mission, please search for an apartment with more than 15 floors in eastern Zhejiang. Said building should also satisfy these two conditions, possess a basement and lack the 14th floor. After finding the location, please enter the staircase at 2 a.m. The moment you step onto the stairs, you must close both eyes. Successfully climb from the first floor to the top floor, and when the mission is completed and your eyes are opened, you will see the thing you wish to see. Warning, nightmare missions have to be completed alone. Accompaniment of any specters, spirits, or items related to the haunted house are forbidden. Hint, before you reach the top floor, no matter what you hear, smell, or touch, do not open your eyes. That is the only way for you to survive. Chen Ge memorized the details. He repeated it many times, but he did not get it. Why would such a mission be called neighbor? Does it mean that when I close my eyes and climb from the ground floor to the top floor, I will run into neighbors? It sounded easy, but it would be hard to put into action. Under those circumstances, a normal person would habitually open their eyes if there was any commotion around them. The nightmare missions that I have accepted before did not have a specific location. Only this mission needs me to go to Eastern Zhejiang, but that place is where my parents strictly forbade me from going before. The mission had been accepted, it was too late to regret it. Chinga took out his phone to look for the building that might match the conditions. He typed in the keywords, and the search result soon arrived. Jiang Yuan Apartments? Looking at the name of the residential area, Chen Ji's brows were screwed together. He was familiar with this place. When he was small, when his parents first arrived in Zhejiang, they had rented a home there. Only after he started primary school did they move from eastern Zhejiang to western Zhejiang. In other words, until he was six, he lived in Jiang Yuan apartments in eastern Zhejiang. Honestly, he could not recall the reason for their move. Chen Gu tried to remember it, but all he could recollect was a hazy rain. All the other memories that Chen Gu had of Jiang Yuan apartments came from newspapers and the television. Many horrible things had happened in that area after they moved away. What kind of incident, he had already forgotten. He could only remember that whenever he tried to bring up Jiang Yuan apartments, his parents would try their best to change the subject. Twenty years had passed since then. The original Jiang Yuan apartments had been leveled. The new Jiang Yuan apartments no longer had the old small apartments, but two 17 floor service apartments. The two buildings faced each other, but strangely enough, only one of them had been occupied. The other building had not finished work due to various reasons. The current Jiang Yuan apartments was far more famous than its previous itineration, but it was all due to negative news. According to the internet, there had been many tenants who committed suicide there. Ever since the apartments were built, the number of tenants had only decreased. When one passed it at night, only a few lights were on. The building has 17 floors and a basement. To avoid any taboos, the developer skipped over the 14th floor, so the next floor after 13 is the 15th floor. Chingu looked at the information that he had found. This building fits the black phone's requirements perfectly. I suspect it purposely directed me to this place. The place that I used to stay at has been demolished, and now that I have grown up, I have to return there to find my old neighbor through this kind of method? Chen Ge had a feeling the neighbor that he was looking for would not be alive anymore. Chapter 943 You are my eyes This mission is related to my parents' disappearance, so there is no reason to give it up. According to the mission details, as long as I don't open my eyes, everything will be fine. Chen Gu put the black phone away. I can only go alone. I can't bring any specters, spirits, or anything related to the haunted house. Will the ghost fetus discover that I have broken the rules? But since that was the black phone's request, Chen Gu had to follow it. He put on his jacket and found a secure rope in the drawer. He tied one end to himself and the other end to the white cat. Other people tie a rope to their pet because they are afraid that they might lose the pet, 
I'm tying the rope to the cat because I'm afraid I will go to the wrong place and the cat might fail to find me. White Tiger, I've been so nice to you. This is finally your time to shine. The white cat, which had been snuggling in comfort on the bed, looked at Chin Gu in alarm. Its ears were standing up, and its eyes moved between Chin Gu and the rope. Come, let's go visit somewhere interesting. Chin Gu was about to grab the white cat, but the cat sank its claws into the bed and refused to let go. Aren't you cats nocturnal animals? What are you doing lazying all night in bed? If you don't take this chance to exercise, you'll get so overweight that you won't be able to move. Don't worry. I promise I won't abandon you no matter what. See this rope? This will be the bond that keeps us together. Sir, I'm going to the lightning equipment factory opposite from Jiangyuan Apartments in eastern Zhejiang. Chinga sat in the back of the taxi while hugging the white cat. With his previous experience, he knew not to give the name of the dangerous location directly just in case the driver refused to drive him there. The place is quite secluded. Plus, why are you going to a factory at night? The driver studied Chinga through the rearview mirror. It was not that he was being too suspicious, but a customer like Chingu was too unique. It was 1 a.m., and he wanted to go to Eastern Zhejiang while carrying a cat. My family owns that factory. Something happened, and I have to go check. Hasn't the factory closed down? The suspicion increased. Yes, that's why I'm going there. Do you think no one needs to care about it since it's closed down? There was annoyance in Chen Ji's tone like he was not in a good mood. I hope you don't mind me being a busybody, but it's not that safe in eastern Zhejiang. Something just happened at the place that you wished to go several days ago. What happened? The residential area across from the factory, I believe it was a drunken husband who accidentally fell from the roof. The scary thing is that it was my colleague who drove him home that night. In any case, the place is just strange. The driver started the car. I don't believe in all that. Chen Gu chuckled evenly. My parents always tell me that with money, even ghosts will do your bidding. If you're afraid of ghosts, it only means you're not rich enough. The driver was speechless. He stopped trying to persuade Chen Gu, and Chen Gu used this downtime to do more investigation. Half an hour later, the taxi dropped Chen Gu off in eastern Zhejiang. After paying the fare, Chen Gu hugged the white cat and headed straight for Jiang Yuan Apartments. That definitely gave the driver quite a shock. The mission requires me to be here before 2 a.m. Chen Gu crossed the road and reached the gates to the residential area. Two apartments stood before him. The surroundings were dark, and it looked isolated. Since moving away, this was Chin Ji's first time returning there. The place had changed so much from his memory. Such a big residential area, can't afford a guard? The gate was half open, and the guardhouse next to it was sealed and locked. Walking in further, the path was littered with various pamphlets. Only two streetlights were on, and one was flickering non-stop. Chen Gu tilted his head up. There was no light coming from one of the apartment building, it looked deserted. The other building had several lights on the ground floor, and there were clothes hanging on the clotheslines outside the building. There's someone staying here, so there shouldn't be a problem, but why are all the lights gathered at the ground floor? Both of the buildings at Jiang Yuan Apartments fitted the requirement. For safety's sake, Chen Gu chose the one with people. He hugged the white cat and approached the building. Various notices were stuck to the outside walls. There were some from the owners urging for payment of rent, there were tenants complaining about the condition of the apartment, and there were missing person reports and many other paraphernalia. The management is a mess. Has the developer run off with the money? Chenga entered the lobby. The stairs were on the left-hand side, and on the right was the elevator. He pressed the button for the elevator, and he could not find the 14th floor on the control panel. After confirming that, Chinga entered the stairwell. He looked at the steps before him. Each floor has 26 steps, and every 13 steps, there is a landing for a turn. 
the height of each step is about. He repeated the movement several times for his legs to get used to the climbing. The mission needs the building to have a basement and no 14th floor. I have to consider these two elements. Chingo leaned on the banister and looked down. There is a basement floor, but it should be deserted. All the doors are locked. I wonder what it's for. Then he looked up the stairs. The layer overlapped upon layers, like a staircase going up to heaven. Only the ground floor and fourth floor have lights. They are not sound activated because they are still on even though it is now deadly quiet. Chin Gook closed his eyes before opening them again. Even with my eyes closed, I can sense the change in the light. Climbing all the way up with one's eyes closed was difficult, it not only required bravery but also great determination. The nightmare missions are getting more and more difficult. Is it because I'm getting closer to the truth? Since he could not take any ghosts with him, Chin Gu could only make preparation from other perspective. He looked at the time and took out a black cloth from his pocket. The mission requests for me to close my eyes, but it didn't say I can't blindfold myself. This should lower the difficulty slightly. The black cloth would lower his eyes' sensitivity to light, but even if he was blindfolded, Chin Gu would not sneakily open his eyes during the process because the scary things might crawl through the blindfold. Scratching the white cat's head, Chin Gu placed it on his shoulder. In a bit, you'll be my eyes. Do not run away from me. If anything particularly scary appears, do not remind me unless the thing is hostile and wants to kill us. Then you can claw or bite me, understood? With little time left, Chin Gu did not care whether the white cat understood his order or not. He left it on his shoulder and took out his phone. There were still 10 seconds to 2 a.m. He closed his eyes and then tied the black cloth around his eyes. Time to begin. After closing his eyes, the darkness surrounded him. Chin Gu placed his hands on the wall and took his first step. Chapter 944, Touch After closing his eyes, there was nothing but darkness. The darkness did not represent despair and loneliness, rather, it appeared to be a giant bubble that could envelop all of one's imagination. The line between memory and reality blurred. As he moved step by step up the stairs, the hard shell of reality was slowly being pulled back. Chingu understood why all the nightmare missions required him to close his eyes to complete them. He was walking into another world, he was going to see the lingering spirits hiding in the background of the real world. Counting the number of steps in his heart, Chingu soon reached the second floor. His fingertips could sense the dust on the wall, and his nose could sniff out the faded smell of mold. The sound of his footsteps echoed in his ears. At that moment, the important sense of sight had been removed, and the world became so different. White Tiger hasn't reacted strangely, so it means that I am in no danger for now. Both ground floor and fourth floor have light, so the real trouble should begin after the fourth floor. Being blindfolded was not that difficult for Chen Gu. He could picture everything in his brain, and his body had gotten used to the height of the steps. All he needed to do was focus and not let himself be influenced by other things. I should be on the second floor now. Moving his feet, Chen Gu was moving up to the third floor when he suddenly heard the sound of an agitated argument coming from one of the families on the second floor. All you do is drink. Does your family even care about me and the children? Since the pregnancy, I've never heard a word of concern from any of you. I paid for every single one of my checkups, and I've suffered more than enough under your mother's attitude. If you feel so badly treated here, leave. If not for the fact that you forgot to lock the front door, Dabao wouldn't have gone out and gotten lost. So it's my fault now? You insisted on leaving at midnight. I am still pregnant with Air Bao. Has your heart been eaten by the dogs? Don't you dare turn this on me. Let me repeat myself, I was going to work that day. The soundproofing of the building was actually not that bad, but the argument was so heated that some physical altercation was involved. About ten seconds later, Chin Gu heard the door open. Someone walked out, 
and from the sound of footsteps, the person was wearing leather shoes, so it should be the husband. The argument was still in full swing. The man cursed as he slammed the door shut. Footsteps echoed down the corridor, and a heavy cloud of alcohol surrounded Chen Gu. Once the man entered the stairwell, he stopped yelling like he was surprised by Chen Gu, who stood in the stairwell. The footsteps halted before they started to head down and disappear. How much has the man drunk? Silence returned, but the alcohol smell did not dissipate. Chen Gu continued to move up. He counted the steps silently, and when he got to the third floor, he noticed that something was off. How come the smell of alcohol is lingering? Since the man has already left, the smell of alcohol shouldn't be around anymore, unless he is following behind me. An image appeared in Chen Ji's mind. He was walking ahead blindfolded while a drunkard with a befuddled mind and malicious face was following behind him. When a person is under great pressure, they will bully the weaker party to vent their frustration. Chen Gu did not turn around. If the man was just a drunkard, it would not be so troublesome, but Chen Gu was afraid that it was something else. When I was on the way here, the driver said that someone lost their life here not too long ago. The victim was drunk when he died, so the thing following behind me now is probably not a human. His nose could smell the alcohol, but his ears could not hear any sound. I've gone up to the third floor, and I've already run into trouble. I still have more than ten floors to go. Fear could be overcome. What could not be overcome was the unknown. Chingu was in this conflicting emotion. This nightmare mission was more difficult than he had expected. He was only on the third floor, it should be no problem if he gave up the mission now and ran away. However, if he continued up, the risk of giving up the mission would become greater and greater. The chance of getting new nightmare mission is very low. If I give up now, who knows when I will next get one. After stopping for a while on the third floor, Chen Gu started moving to the fourth floor. After getting closer to the light, even with his eyes closed, Chen Gu could feel the change in the brightness. He was sure that he was on the fourth floor. I've gone through one quarter of the mission, and so far, there have been no problems. Holding the wall, Chen Gu carefully moved toward the fifth floor. When he lifted his feet, his shoes knocked into something. The sound as it toppled over was crisp. It sounded like a china bowl. He bent over slowly and searched on the ground. His fingertips touched an apple, cooked rice, and two wooden chopsticks. The chopsticks were stuck inside the rice, and one end of it was sticky. Someone laid out this ritualistic food on the stairwell? Has something happened on this floor as well? Only the ground floor and fourth floor had lights on, so one's mind could not help but wonder. After replacing the bowl and chopsticks, Chen Gu bowed at the location of the temporary shrine. Please forgive me. If you need compensation, you can follow me home when I leave. Feel free to take anything that you like. Then, Chen Gu left the fourth floor and went up to the fifth floor. The last shred of light disappeared, and Chen Gu felt the light coming from behind him as he slowly moved up. The fifth floor and sixth floor went by. When he reached the seventh floor, the smell of alcohol disappeared. He left? If it was the man who died days ago, this sudden departure can only mean that there is something scarier on the seventh floor and above, and he doesn't dare follow me further. The other possibility is that there is something scary standing before him, and this new thing has scared the man away. Knowing that something was before him but being unable to see it placed Chen Gu in a helpless situation. Since the white cat gave no warning, it should be fine. Chen Gu slightly bent over to lower his center of gravity to prevent himself from tripping. Slowing down, Chen Gu nudged slowly upward. When he raised his arms to the walls again, he was stumped. The sensation that came from his fingertips was not the coldness of the wall, but it had a buoyancy to it like human skin. He stood there for about several seconds before Chen Gu slowly moved his fingers and through the sense of touch, he confirmed that he was touching a human face. His Adam's apple quivered as his body petrified. If this was any other person, they would be screaming, but Chen Gu did not do that, he tried to maintain his calm. 
His fingers pinched slightly, and through that, Chingo understood two things. One, this was a child's face, two, the face had no warmth like it had been taken out from the fridge, so it was not a living human. The face has a sharp nose. I think I have an impression of this face. Chingo remembered that when he entered the lobby, there was a missing person notice on the wall. The kid in the notice had such a face. Chapter 945, Who's Pulling on Me? With the mortician and dollmaker talents and the experience of making hundreds of mannequins, he had faith in his prediction. This face is 80% similar to the face of the child in the notices, but the question is, why is his face here on the wall? Has the child been killed and the body is somehow related to the wall? Pulling his arms back, Chingov stood where he was. The surroundings were quiet, there was no sound and no special smell. The husband and wife argued that they had lost a son. The child's name was Debao, so the missing person notice might be theirs. They've lost their child, but I felt the child's face when going up the stairs. Did the child return to this building after turning into a ghost, or was he killed inside this building? Could the killer be one of the tenants? The more Chin Guk considered it, the more likely it became. The husband left at midnight, and the wife, who was pregnant with the second child, chased after him without locking the door. Under normal circumstances, the child who was left alone at home would not sneak out alone unless he saw something or someone familiar calling him. Could the killer be the neighbor? The word neighbor was a common term, but it carried a different meaning for Chen Gu now because the nightmare mission that he was conducting now was named Neighbor. Taking another step forward, Chen Gu still felt it safer to move by the wall, but when his palm was about to touch the wall, he halted. His experience earlier left a trauma in his heart. He was afraid that he might touch something unsightly again. His fingers dropped on the wall and after touching the cold, hard wall, Chingu sighed in relief. If not necessary, he did not want to touch any more people. I'm only here to complete my mission. There is no need to unravel the mystery that happened here. I only need to keep my eyes closed and head to the top floor. Everything else has nothing to do with me. Chingu convinced himself as he continued to move forward. When he moved his body, he felt something pull on his shirt. Is it the child? He froze on the steps. His eyes were blindfolded, so he could not see anything, he could only wait for the other person to let go. After five seconds, Chingu took another step forward, and he could clearly feel a force pulling from behind him. The person did not plan to let him go, and Chingu was not going to force his way through this. He took one step back and felt that the force had weakened greatly. It appears like something doesn't want him to leave? A scary thought appeared in his mind. Chin Goat slowly squatted down and whispered behind him, Debao? The pulling force disappeared for a moment, but it soon returned. Is it really you? Chin Goat tried to speak as slow as he could. Your parents are looking for you. You'd better go home. Perhaps the sentence triggered the boy because the force started to pull heavily like the boy was trying to drag Chen Gu into the wall. Wait, if you don't like your parents and don't want to go home, I can stay to accompany you. Chen Gu instantly changed tact. Actually, my childhood was not that memorable either. My parents always argued due to some small issues. Seeing them in that state, I only wanted to curl up in a corner. Other families were so happy and joyful, but my family was always so lonely and cold. Even if the three of us occasionally got together, it always ended up in an argument. What Chin Gu said seemed to work, he could feel the force weakening. Arguing, throwing things around the room, they would sometimes bent their anger on me. The constant arguing made me live my life very carefully, I didn't dare cry too loudly. Chin Gu sighed with regret. Even though I am much older now, I'll never forget that experience. The wounds haven't been healed by time, but as time moved on, I have slowly learned to coexist with the pain. Chin Gu squatted on the stairs and turned around to face the darkness, mumbling, isn't it sad? I am just a child. I cannot get an adult's love, but I have to force myself to be a responsible adult. 
The force slowly weakened, the words seemed to find resonance in the child. I've experienced that loneliness before, so I became very sensitive and cautious to everything. I know how bad that feels, but if you don't mind, I can be your friend. I do not wish for you to experience the things that I've had to go through. The force completely disappeared. Chen Gu maintained his posture. The adult's response was a mirror for a child. A good response could help the child see the good in themselves, but a bad response would be like a concave mirror, leaving a contorted impression on the child's growing mind. Even though Chen Gu was childless, he had interacted with children many times, and he knew how to form a bond with them. De Bao came from a sad family background. If it was within his power, Chen Gu was willing to help the child. There was no more sound, and there was no pull on his shirt. The child seemed to have left. Chen Gu could not see anything. His hands pressed against the wall, and he did not feel anything weird. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just going to the roof. After I'm done, I'll be back. After saying that to the darkness, Chen Gu slowly stood up. He was about to continue climbing the stairs when his hand near the banister felt a chill like someone had stuffed a piece of ice into his palm. His fingers trembled. Chen Gu was sure that someone had grabbed his hand. Goosebumps appeared on his neck, and Chen Gu stopped for two seconds before gripping the small hand tighter. We can go together. You have to promise me one thing. If there's danger, you have to run and ignore me, okay? With that hand holding him, Chen Gu continued to move up. He successfully moved from the seventh floor to the eleventh floor without any accidents. But when he reached the eleventh floor, the elevator down the corridor rang with a ding as the doors opened. Someone had used the elevator to come to the eleventh floor at midnight. It was unclear whether it was a person or a ghost. To prevent any unnecessary misunderstandings, Chen Gu stopped moving. Footsteps appeared in the eleventh floor corridor. Then came the sound of keys brushing against one another, followed by the key entering the lock. The spring loosened, and the door opened. Just as Chinga thought that the person was entering the room, a giant force came from the corridor. Someone was pulling him by his left arm like they were trying to drag Chinga into the door that had just opened. His body lost its balance. Chen Gu would have fallen if not for the force that pulled on his right hand trying its darndest to stop Chen Gu from being dragged away. Chapter 946 So cold even though Chen Gu had no idea what was in the corridor, he knew that he could not allow himself to be dragged into the room. His arms were pulled, and his eyes were blindfolded. Chen Gu could only kick at what believed to be the direction of the corridor. His feet made contact with something and the pain jolted Chen Gu awake. White tiger. Bite it. All that Chen Gu could trust now was the white cat, but the strange thing was, the cat that laid on his shoulders did not move at all. He could feel the cat's weight on his shoulder not shifting. His body was dragged on both sides, and this held on for almost half a minute when Chen Gu heard a man say, Don't you want to live? I am trying to save you. There is a ghost in the stairwell. Following the voice, the pull on Chen Ji's arm increased. Now Chen Gu was given a choice, to follow the man's voice into the corridor or continue up the stairs. In less than a second, he made the choice and shouted, it was human beings who pushed them to their death, so why should I be afraid of ghosts? If you really want to save me, let go. At that crucial moment, Chen Gu chose to stay in the stairwell. He was willing to stay with the ghost whose identity he had confirmed over leaving with a random, human stranger. The pull on his arm dwindled until the door clicked. The man who wanted to drag Chen Gu into the room appeared to have left. Is he that desperate to find a scapegoat? The last one who had that intention is still trapped inside a painting. Chen Gu slowly stood up. The sound of the door closing was very, close so it means the man's room is very close to the stairwell. I'll be sure to return tomorrow with my employees to pay a visit. He waved his arms about. He touched the banister and wall to confirm his location. Thank you for your help earlier, Chinggu said to the space next to him. No one was pulling on his hand anymore, 
so he was not sure whether the boy was still there or not. De bow? There was no reply. Chengu waited for a while, before moving up again. The situation is worse than I thought. I thought this place would have at most three specters and some lingering spirits, but it looks like I was being overly optimistic. Lingering spirits would have a hard time interacting physically with human beings, so both the man who grabbed Chin Ji's arm and the boy were specters. He had only gone up to the eleventh floor, and he had already run into two specters, this would only get worse. When Chin Guk came to the space between eleventh and twelfth floors, he felt something under his feet. It felt wet. Puddles? There is no light in the upper part of the building, so why would there be a puddle on the stairs? Could it be a broken pipe? Chin Guk could confirm that he was not stepping on blood because blood dried very quickly. The blood used at his own haunted house was all diluted with thinner. This should be water. When that thought crossed his mind, he felt chill on his cheeks, like water was dripping on his face. Before he reached out to touch his face, the chill moved to his ankles, like a snake had just slithered up his leg. What is going on? The air turned damp, and moisture stuck to his skin. When Chin Gu was contemplating this change, a woman's voice suddenly came from above. So cold. The voice was light and shaking. There's something before me? Chen Gu slowed down, and his brain spun. The air around him filled with vapor. Did the person feel cold because her death was related to water, or was her body stored inside a freezer? Chen Gu thought about a lot in a few minutes. He continued to move forward. Just as he was about to pass the source of the voice, he felt both of his legs freeze. The chill spread along his spine like something was crawling up his back. So cold, so cold. The shivering voice now echoed behind Chen Gu, like she was following him, just one step behind him. Standing with his eyes closed in the staircase, he could not see anything, but he could sense someone standing behind him. With each step, the person behind him also took one step forward. The chilling feeling did not dissipate and only grew stronger. Chin Gu did not act rashly, he slowly raised his hand to undo the button of his jacket. He undid the buttons one by one and removed his jacket before turning to cover the person behind him. Put this on, stranger. I can't help you change what's already happened, but I hope this jacket can bring you some warmth. The jacket landed on something. Perhaps Chin Ji's action was so sudden that the thing could not react. Other than this stupid cat, I have nothing. I see death very lightly, but that doesn't influence my love for life. Chin Gu held the wall and slowly squatted down until he sat on the steps. This night is long and boring, would you like to chat? With his eyes blindfolded, Chin Gu could not see anything. Without any employees or tools, he could not do anything. However, he did not feel helpless. He leaned against the wall. In the damp, eerie stairwell, his smile appeared so bright and unusual. If you don't mind, please sit next to me. Chen Gu tapped the spot next to him lightly. I know how loneliness feels, and I envy those who can joke with their friends and have endless topics to chat about. Seeing their joy, I will always find a secluded corner to be by myself. That is how I like it. Eventually, people got used to it. To be honest, you're the first one who I have chatted so closely with for so long. His lips moved, and Chen Gu turned to look next to him. Can you stay for a chat? Some shuffling entered his ears, and Chen Ji's finger brushed against his own jacket. The stranger who had been following him sat down next to him on the step. Thank you for accompanying me. I am not a people person, but do you mind telling me your story? His tone was sincere, with an undercurrent of pleading. My body is pressed together. It's very cold. I cannot even hug myself. Where are you? Can I go find you? How can I help you? Chen Gu sincerely wished to help. There was at least another murder case hidden in this building. My head is placed behind my back, my arms are folded together, and my legs are on the second floor. He used to hate me. 
It was not until he raised the cleaver that he smiled. He said that he finally found the upside to an anorexic girl. That was a rare compliment. He said, since I am so small and thin, I will be easy to hide. Chapter 947, Voices from 20 Years Ago, That Day, He Told Me Many Things That He Normally Wouldn't. Is this man you mentioned still living here? Chen Gu could hear the quiver in the voice. He has already moved away and hasn't returned for a long time. Then, would you like to meet him? Chen Gu pulled on the jacket. I believe you have many things you wish to say to him. After all, he's the one who put you in this situation where you can't even feel warmth. I. It's okay. I will help. Trust me. Chen Gu held the wall and slowly stood up. If he hasn't left Jiujiang within one week, I will bring him back. After you reunite with him, I will bring you to someplace warmer. The woman did not answer, but Chen Gu was in no hurry. Now I have one more reason to be alive. Keep the jacket. I will be back. Chen Gu was about to move up when the woman said, Don't go up anymore. You won't be able to return. Won't be able to return? Why? Because above the 13th floor is the 14th floor. A jacket was stuffed into Chen Ji's hand, and the chilling feeling slowly disappeared. What is she trying to tell me? Chen Gu gripped the jacket tightly. Jiang Yuan Apartments doesn't have the 14th floor. It should be the 15th floor after 13th floor, but she said that 14th floor follows the 13th floor. So, does the 14th floor really exist? Chen Gu would not surrender at this point, he knew that he was very close to the truth. Counting the steps, Chen Gu came to the 13th floor. This level was quiet, like a normal apartment building with nothing extraordinary. He moved up to the 14th floor. When he was halfway up the steps, his nostrils twitched because he smelt the scent of food. It was unknown what dish it was, but his brain was able to tell this was a lavish dinner, impressed upon his memory. This wafted down from the 14th floor. Is someone cooking? Moving up step by step, perhaps due to physical or mental exhaustion, Chinga felt like there were so many steps between the 13th and 14th floor. The number of steps was similar to other floors, but for some reason, it took him much longer. Under his fingertips, the smooth surface of the wall started to crack. There appeared to be changes in the corridor. Everything gave Chen Gu a familiar yet strange feeling. He mechanically lifted his leg, and with the smell of dinner on his nose, he finally reached the 14th floor. When he found footing, the doorknob in the corridor turned noisily. An iron door was opened, and then a male voice came from the deeper part of the corridor. Chen Gu, welcome home. When he heard that voice, Chen Ji's voice blanked out. He whipped his body around to face the corridor. He had heard that man's voice for about 20 years. This sentence, he had heard it so many times when he was young. He had memorized his voice inside his heart and carved it onto his bones. Dinner is ready. When you were coming up the stairs, your mom heard you. His nails cut into his palm, and Chin Gu slowly raised his arms to grab at that black cloth. He just wanted to take a look. He had never been so desperate to see something. The hands on the cloth tightened until the veins burst on the back of his hands. How was your first day at school? We're sorry we couldn't pick you up. You weren't bullied, right? Have you made some new friends? You're so much like me, so you should be so popular in class. Go and wash your hands. Don't run around. The words drifted out from the corridor until the doorknob turned and the door closed. The man's voice disappeared, and other people's voices appeared in the corridor. There was a male and a female, young and old. What is wrong with that new family who just moved in? They leave after their child goes to sleep every midnight. No wonder the child suffers from nightmares. Haven't you heard? During the day, the house is filled with laughter, but at night, it's just crying. Won't the child be afraid to be left at home alone at night? This is strange. I saw all three of them leave in the morning. Why would there be crying at night? 
brothers. I found something. It's not the adults that are problematic with the new family, it's the child. I saw the doctor from some Xian High Hospital who came to treat the child. You mustn't let your children play with him. How come, after the doctor's visit, the child has been even sicker? Do you know? The child tells his parents about his nightmares, and when his parents are not at home at night, he repeats the nightmare to his own shadow. How scary is that? Something's not right, if he doesn't sleep in the day or night, when does he have the time to experience nightmares? Is the child really talking about his dream? Don't scare me like that. Never mind, they are moving away in a few days anyway. They're moving? Yes, I hear they're going to Western Jiujiang, the parents are going to work for a theme park. The voices slowly drifted into the background. Chin Gu stood where he was with his hands still on the black cloth. After a while, Chin Gu took a deep breath. I only remember the good things. I blocked out most of the things the neighbor said about me. But there are a few key points I should consider. When I was small, I interacted with a doctor from Xian High Hospital. It was after his treatment that I started talking with my own shadow. It should be then that my shadow turned strange. The key to everything is that doctor. The doctor came from Xian High, and the cursed hospital is between Xian High and Jiujiang. Could this be a coincidence? Standing on the 14th floor, Chen Go slowly turned around to face away from the corridors with many voices. His hands that grabbed the black cloth tightened and then he removed the slightly wet cloth. But his eyes were still closed. I really wish to open my eyes and see you, but I know that is impossible. Chen Gu did not turn back. With his hand on the wall, he continued to move up. You once gave up everything for me, so now I will use everything I have to find you. In the dark corridor, Chen Gu looked different from usual. 15th, 16th, 17th. Counting the number of steps in his heart, Chinga knew that he was now on the 17th floor. Theoretically, this was the top floor of this building, but he did not hurry to open his eyes. The 14th doesn't exist, but the girl with the cold told me above the 13th floor is the 14th floor. This building originally had 17 floors, but if one includes the additional 14th floor, there should be 18 floors like 18 layers of hell. Chenga nudged his feet. Soon, his toe found the steps that led upward. So, there is an 18th floor. Chapter 948, The Man Who Killed Me His Raised Leg Lowered. It was a simple action, but that was quite taxing for Chen Gu. He felt lightheaded, like many things were pressed on his body, and there was this force that was trying to pull him back. Chen Gu did not know what was hiding in the dark, and he had no idea whether there were any ghosts around him. But sometimes, not seeing was better because that would not affect his emotions. It took him several minutes to move from the 17th floor to the 18th floor. When Chin Gu successfully reached the 18th floor, he almost tripped. I feel so cold and dizzy. Chin Gu was very tired, and it was a mental exhaustion like he had been working at a stressful job for more than 10 hours. I should be on the top floor already. Chen Ji's fingers held the wall. He had not opened his eyes. For the sake of security, he bent over and used his hands to seek out the wall and floor, leaving no stone unturned. After experiencing so much, he would not fail at the final hurdle. When Chen Gu was searching around, there came a sudden door opening sound from downstairs, and it rang out quite clearly in the quiet stairwell. The iron door was slowly opened and two footsteps appeared in the stairwell. Is someone coming up? Chen Gu instantly became nervous. The sound of the door probably came from the 14th or 15th floors. Could it be the neighbors? The footsteps sounded urgent as they approached the stairwell. It was as if they were forcing Chen Gu to open his eyes to end the mission. The sound has reached the 16th floor. Chen Ji's forehead was breaking out in cold sweat. He leaned against the wall and was panicking slightly. Should I open my eyes? Theoretically, I've reached the top floor, and I can't find any stairs to take me further up. 
While he hesitated, the footsteps already reached the 17th floor. Chen Gu stood at the corner, facing the stairwell, and his eyes were closed. The footsteps were coming quickly. They appeared at the landing, between 17th and 18th floor, so they should have seen Chen Gu already. I've been discovered, but the footsteps didn't stop, so I'm probably not that their target. A familiar laughter appeared in his ears, and soon, those footsteps walked past Chen Gu, and one of the doors on 18th floor was opened. Wind caressed Chen Ji's face, and the tiredness that he felt slowly disappeared, like the things that had been hanging on to him had left. Is it over? He wanted to open his eyes, but the sound of footsteps and children laughing were still there. The laughter gave him an indescribable feeling. He could not sense any joy from the laughter. It was very hollow. He sought his way to the open door, blindly. Chen Gu stood at the door, and a child's voice came from the other side of the door. Uncle, I just had a dream. In the dream, there is a red city floating in a black sea. Everyone in the city is walking around with blades to cut their own bodies and bury their memories. Uncle, human beings exist due to their memories, but if human beings have forgotten them, will the memories get angry? Uncle, are you listening to me? The child's voice was near Chen Gu. Chen Gu even felt that the child was talking to him. He was about to speak when an unfamiliar male voice answered. I am. The man's voice did not carry any emotion. It was detached and cold like a machine. The memories will not be angry. When they appear, they are destined to be forgotten. That is their ending. Destined to be forgotten? Yes, just like you. After the man saying that, the child laughed again. Why do you like to laugh so much? There was annoyance in the man's voice. Because I'm happy. My father told me everything I saw is a nightmare, and those scary things are all in my dreams. They will disappear when I wake up. Shouldn't I be happy about that? The child's voice had an innocence to it. A nightmare? The man's tone turned icier. One day. If you realize that it's not a nightmare and is all real, will you still laugh like this? I don't know, perhaps. If you one day realize that you have been abandoned in that red city and have no way of return, will you still laugh? I. You will never laugh again. You will curse the world madly, like the memories that have been abandoned by their owner, enveloped by negative emotion, sinking deeper and deeper into that dark ocean. There was an excitement in the man's voice. Beneath his detached tone hid a twisted soul. No, I won't. The child's innocent voice belied a maturity beyond his years. He took a long time to consider before saying, If I am really forgotten in my nightmare one day, I will paint a window on that black sea and open all the doors in the red city so that all the eyes that have gotten used to the darkness will get the chance to see the light. When the child ended the sentence, Chingu was struck by a sense of deja vu, like he had personally said that before. His eyelids twitched. Chengu took one and voluntarily stepped forward. He instinctively wanted to reach out to grab that voice. With light comes darkness. If you wish for darkness to see the light, the light will turn into darkness. The man appeared to have grabbed hold of the child. Let me go. You're the one who should let go. Do not come back again. Let go. Help. Help. You will ultimately be forgotten, so don't worry and die. When the man said that, Chen Ji's body froze. A voice was calling from the bottom of his heart. Help! His eyes flew open, and Chen Gu saw at the edge of the roof, a doctor in white coat was pushing his young self off the edge of the building. He rushed to the edge, but when he reached out, everything disappeared. His energy deserted him, and Chen Gu crumbled to the ground. His clothes were soaked in cold sweat. When I did the nightmare mission at the tunnel, I also saw my young self being killed. This is the second time already. The killer has the same appearance from the back, so they should be the same person. He wore a doctor's garb, so he should be the doctor from Xian High. But why would he kill me? What is the meaning of their conversation? A headache was killing him. 
After closing his eyes for so long, Chin Gu was still getting used to the light. He was curled up at the wall, and he rubbed his eyes. When his vision returned to normal, he turned and tried to grab the white cat. But his head was only half turned when his body froze. Two dried hands touched his face, and a blood red shirt almost brushed past the tip of Chin Ji's nose. A red specter was holding on to Chin Ji's shoulder, hanging by his back. It was you who left the half open door at Jiang Yuan Apartments, wasn't it? A child's voice appeared from behind Chin Gu. I can't remember. Only then did Chin Gu see the white cat almost crying on his shoulder. The cat did not dare budge, those who did not know would think it was a science specimen. The white cat had always been there, but it did not warn him. That could only mean that the red specter had shown up when he first closed his eyes. The white cat was lying on his left shoulder, so the red specter was hanging on his right shoulder? Chapter 949 When you're feeling down, visit someone else's theme park his scalp was going numb, and his brain was fuzzy. Chin Good did not dare to turn around, he was afraid of saying something wrong and getting killed immediately. I am not sure what you're talking about. Twenty years ago, there was a door that was about to open in Jiang Yuan Apartments, but no one knew about its location. The only known info is that it is within this area. The area has been rebuilt, but the door still hasn't closed. Negative emotions kept coming out from behind the door and attracting the ghosts and specters that pass by. The poor people that you met are gathered here because of that door, and it was because of that door that I was lucky enough to become a red specter. Now that you put it that way, perhaps that door is really related to me, Chinga answered carefully. But I have forgotten many things, so I cannot be sure of it. If you can give me more hints, perhaps I can be reminded of something. It was a door that was half open, this is the first time I've seen a door like that. It was like when someone was about to push the door open, salvation suddenly came for him. The dried hands tightened their grip, and the red specter's voice appeared in Chin Ji's ears. Only when one is in deepest despair, can a door be pushed open. That kind of despair shall never be saved. Chen Gu memorized the red specter's every word. He might not understand everything now, but with some investigation, he might understand more of its meaning. I really can't remember anything now. Have you entered the door? What is inside the door? Chen Gu started to ask questions. It was mainly because he had seen too many red specters, and the fear in his heart was slowly replaced by a feeling like he was chatting with an old friend. You want to know what's inside the door? The dried hands pressed on Chen Ji's neck. Haven't you just seen it? Me? Seen it? Chen Gu widened his eyes. Fourteenth floor? The world behind the door is my home? Yes, that was your home, but now it is my home now. The malnourished fingers were like knives slowly piercing into Chen Ji's neck. I helped you push the door open, but I failed to become the door pusher. I've been thinking about it, and now I get it. Perhaps that's because the real door pusher is still alive. Only by killing him can I officially take over the door. Calm down. Let me think about this. Perhaps I have no relation to that door at all. Really? How could a person like me, who is so bright and sunny be in such despair, to push open a door? But when you showed up, the door opened on its own, and voices that I haven't heard before came out from behind it. The hands of the red specter had a tighter, strangle. Fine, I cannot deny the relationship between me and the door, but it wasn't me who pushed the door open. If you want to look for the real door pusher, I can help you. Chen Gu pointed at the edge of the roof. You saw it yourself. The child who was pushed down the building should be the real door pusher. I am looking for him as well. Your lies will not fool me. The scenario behind the door is weaved from the memory of the door pusher. The voices that you heard on the 14th floor and the scene you saw on the roof were memories from the deepest part of your heart. Those are all your memories, that's why you saw yourself in them. The red specter's statement accidentally reminded Chen Gu. A light shone through his mind. Memories? The things that he should have forgotten were retained in the door. 
Even though the scenario was despairing, it was his memory. I think I get it now. Chen Ji's eyes narrowed. The Red City contains many different scenarios, and each scenario is created by the door pusher. The scenarios are created from the door pusher's despairing memories. The younger version of myself said one thing on the roof earlier, human beings exist due to their memories, but if human beings have forgotten them, will the memories get angry? Human, ghost, memory, lingering spirit. Are those your final words? Wait. Hearing the Red Spectre's voice, Chin Guth snapped into focus. You saw the scenario earlier, the memory wouldn't lie. The real door pusher has been pushed off the building by the doctor. He is already dead. The real reason you haven't taken over the door is because his lingering spirit is still around. Chen Ji's words made sense, but that was not enough to convince the Red Spectre. I know, it's pointless for me to say any more. I will not give you any fake promises, but I hope you can give me several days to go and find the real door pusher. The Red Spectre behind him did not speak, so Chen Gu quickly added, If you think several days is too long, how about we make it 24 hours? I really need to go home to confirm some things. If you are that worried, you can come with me. You can hide in my shadow to watch over me. My life will be in your hands. The pain around his neck lessened. The Red Spectre was slowly persuaded even though he still had not said anything. The silence continued for several minutes. Then Chen Gu appeared to give up. He slowly raised his hands. Fine, looks like you're not going to let me go. Then, can I ask for one last little favor? Speak. Give me a few minutes to call the police. In the stairwell, I promised to help find the girl's killer. Since I can't do that, I at least have to leave her with some hope. I can't allow her to stay in that frozen condition. Chen Gu took out his phone. The Red Spectre did not object to it. After some time, the dried hands moved away, three days. In three days, at 2 a.m., I will wait for you on the 14th floor. The pressure slowly disappeared. The iron door that headed to the roof was slammed shut, and everything returned to normal. Chen Gu was standing where he was, but the white cat on his shoulder could not suffer it anymore. Probably because it had held the same posture for so long, the white cat unnaturally jumped onto the ground. Its body appeared to be frozen. It was limping while it walked. Seeing the white cat starting to move around, Chen Gu sighed in relief. He slid down the wall. You're really useless. The specter was lying on my shoulder. Shouldn't you at least warn me about something that serious? Meow? The white cat was angry when it saw Chen Gu. It circled around him and held angrily as if saying, how about you try lying next to a red specter for once? The man and the cat argued for a while, and Chen Gu recovered somewhat. He put on the jacket and reached out to hug the white cat. Going back down was impossible, and he did not think taking the elevator was a good idea, so Chen Gu decided to wait for dawn to arrive. This was such a scary night. After the sun comes up, I'll have to go to the futuristic theme park for some necessary relaxation. Chapter 950, Bonding Opportunities for the Red Spectre's Dawn started to arrive for the day, and the first ray of sunlight appeared on the horizon. It's finally morning. Hugging the cat, Chinga re-entered the stairwell. The stairwell was empty, and it felt scary. It's hard to imagine I was walking up here with my eyes blindfolded yesterday. With a few sighs, Chinga took the elevator and left Jiang Yuan Apartments. At the same time, he received the notification of the mission's completion on the black phone. Congratulations, Spectres favored, for completing the daily nightmare mission. You have gained a new talent, Spirit Sniff. In Yang Vision allows you to see the color of dreams, Ghost Ears allow you to hear the voices of memories, and Spirit Sniff allows you to smell the scent of emotions. Mortician's Makeup allows you to disguise yourself or others as withering ghosts and Living Dolls allows you to create the shell for Homeless Spirit. Currently, you are lacking one last ability. Be quick and unlock the last mission. Hopefully, you will know the answer before death catches up to you.
After completing the nightmare mission, the Black Phone awarded Chingu with another power, and from the name, it was related to his sense of smell. Chingu touched his nose and did not sense any difference from before. Perhaps his ability to discern between different smells had gotten stronger. Different emotions will have different scents? Chingu sniffed at the white cat but was pushed away by the annoyed creature. He did not mind it, he put away the black phone and took out his own phone. Hello? Is it the Eastern Jiujiang Police Station? I wish to make a report. There's been a murder at Jiang Yuan Apartments. Yes, and it should be a female victim. The hiding spot should be inside a fridge. I suggest you investigate rooms that are supposed to be empty but have to pay exorbitant electrical fees. How do I know all this? Even if I tell you the truth and say that it was the victim herself who told me, I don't think you'd believe me. He hailed a taxi to get back to New Century Park. Chenga had not gotten a wink for the night, but he did not feel sleepy at all. He looked at the time and started to prepare for work. My haunted house needs to operate like normal, so I can't take too many employees with me. I need to leave behind all by and the rest to maintain order. Pushing open the door that headed underground, Chinga entered it with the backpack. Other than all by, I will have to bring all the other red specters with me, or else if they go on a rampage, the remaining specters won't be able to stop them. With the help of Tong Tong, Chen Gu placed the pair of red high heels and the recorder into the backpack, and then he had the boy with the stench and the headless woman enter Yen Danian's comic. The headless woman has improved a lot, but she is a bit too by the books. She was probably scarred by her experience with Zhang Ya. This can't continue. I will have to teach her how to be more rounded around the visitors. Red specters have personality issues but I can borrow this perfect chance for them to learn how to relax. We will all go for a stroll. Hopefully, through this kind of activity, it will help build a correct team vision. If that's the case, I won't worry leaving T. Hem behind at the haunted house anymore. When he flipped through the comic, Chin Ji's eyes shone. He saw a person whom he had almost forgotten, Chiu Mei. Before entering the school of the afterlife, Chingu once received a mission related to a dead man's theater. It was at that scenario that he had been introduced to Chenggu, and during the showing of the movies, he was privy to the presence of Chiu Mei. This half-red specter could be considered a sacrifice in Chang Wenyu's plan. Tragedy had befallen her, and her left eye had been dug out. Worst of all, she still did not know the truth. When Chenggu wakes up, I'll have to take Chiu Mei to have a good conversation with him. Chiu Mei was just a half-red specter, but her ability was very unique. That time, she had been in possession of Changu's movies, and she had shown off skills that could rival a red specter. Oh well, I will bring her with me. Her power should be able to come into good use at the futuristic theme park. Chingu handed the management responsibility over to Dr. Wei and had all by remained to quiet down the restless spirits. After ensuring that there would be no more problems, Chingu walked out from the underground scenario. He carried the backpack into the staff break room. Chingu lay on the bed to rest for a while. When all the employees arrived, he briefed them on his plan. Today, I will be going to the futuristic theme park for an educational exchange so the rest of you will stay back to help me watch over the haunted house. If there are no accidents, I should be back by noon. After putting makeup on all the employees, Chen Gu was about to leave the haunted house when he was stopped by Director Luo. Chen Gu. Wait a moment. Director Luo, what's wrong? I just got the news that the futuristic theme park plans to use some underhanded tricks for your visit. Moreover, their haunted house does not employ conventional methods. They combine it with new technology, so you must be careful. Director Luo was still very worried. How about I ask several people to go with you? I really don't feel good letting you do this alone. Don't worry, I have done plenty of preparation. Furthermore, the theme park is lacking manpower now. There is no need to ruin the arrangement because of me. Chen Gu swung the backpack on his back. I'll be going. After dealing with everything, 
Jin Gook called a taxi to head to Eastern Jiujiang's futuristic theme park. He had just crossed the path that connected Eastern and Western Jiujiang the previous night, so he had a familiar feeling as he traveled down the same path. The futuristic theme park was built at the busiest part of Eastern Jiujiang. It was adjacent to two large rivers. Across the river was Exian High City, and once the bridge crossing the river was built, the location of the futuristic theme park would be the prime location that sat right in the middle of all the cities. I'll give this to them, they do know how to pick their location. The futuristic theme park's current location might not be as good as new century parks now, but that would quickly change in the future. Narrowing his eyes, the outline of the futuristic theme park appeared in Chen Ji's sight, it looked like a city from the future that was incredibly artistic. Even from the distance, he could hear the sounds coming from theme park. That showed how popular the theme park was. The theme park is quite impressive. It will be incredibly hard to resist the pressure that they bring. Only when he arrived at the futuristic theme park did Chinga realize how powerful their adversary was. No wonder they haven't been treating New Century Park seriously. The parking lot was full, and there were people everywhere. There were many tourist buses that herded visiting groups to this place. The futuristic theme park had their own system. Their customer pool was not limited to Jiujiang and the neighboring cities. Chapter 951 To the highest difficulty we go. Walking to the entrance alone, Chen Gu was not as cocky as Lu Gang. But sometimes, even if one wanted to stay low profile, it was impossible. He used his ID to purchase the ticket at the auto seller machine. All the tickets there were sold by machines, and everyone was queuing up. But when he pressed his ID on a machine that had been working normally, the machine suddenly lit up with a red light. Three workers from the theme park then ran toward him. Is the machine broken? What's the meaning of this? Do we have a criminal among us? Chen Gu himself was as confused. When the three arrived, they surrounded Chen Gu. One of them said with a professional fake smile, Mr. Chen Gu, we have been waiting so long for you. The reincarnation scenario is already ready. Please follow us. Okay then. Chen Gu saved the ticket money. He looked at the price information and then only realized that the selling price for the ticket at the futuristic theme park was at least 1.5 times the price of a ticket for New Century Park. He was led down the staff pathway to the interior of the theme park. Many strange themed plazas appeared before his eyes, and together, they formed this futuristic city. The building for the reincarnation theme attraction is at the deepest part of theme park. Our people have already finished designing it. The three workers led Chen Gu through the crowd and came to the haunted house at the futuristic theme park, a themed building that was named Reincarnation. When Chen Gu arrived, there was already a bustling crowd outside the building, but most of them were workers from the park. They all looked like they were ready to jump and attack Chen Gu. However, they probably did not expect that Chen Gu would come alone so all the workers had this feeling that perhaps they had overestimated their enemy. A man in his thirties walked over from the building's entrance to introduce himself. Nice to meet you, I am one of the designers of this reincarnation-themed building. You can call me Qing Ming. Just how many designers does this scenario has? I believe one of those currently lying in the hospital is also one of your designers. The first thing that Chen Gu said made the workers at the futuristic theme park feel fairly awkward. Yes, Bai Bu Hui is one of our designers. Our scenario is themed with the concept of reincarnation. It combines elements from various urban legends and horror movies to create a unique and isolated world on its own, but through the concept of reincarnation, they all cleverly and expertly join together. Qing Ming sounded proud of their accomplishment. I haven't even started my live stream. There's no need to start your sale pitch just yet. Chen Gu patted Qing Ming on his shoulder. Brother, I am going to queue up here. You should go and do whatever you are supposed to do. There is no need to mind me. My work for the day is to accompany you during your visit. By the way, have your friends not arrived? Qing Ming asked with some hesitation. 
From the bottom of his heart, he did not believe that Chen Gu would come alone to take on the challenge. Oh, don't worry about that, I came alone. Chen Gu took out his phone and clicked into his livestream services. Ever since his livestream was banned by the police, he had not used this service for quite some time. Once he started the livestream, before Chen Gu even said anything, the chatroom was already exploding with activity. The most annoying was the bunch of users who were spamming the chat feed with Brother Gang is a real man. In a few short minutes, the number of online viewers had shot through 50,000, and the number was still rapidly climbing. Good afternoon, everyone. Yesterday, I promised everyone that I would come to challenge the futuristic theme Park's Haunted House alone, and I am here already. Chen Gu panned the camera to capture the themed building. Honestly, I am quite scared that I will have to challenge this haunted house alone. Liu Gang's group challenged my haunted house with 11 people in total, but all of them are now inside the hospital. But I am just one person, and I have to face this challenge all on my own. When Chen Gu said that, Qing Ming, who stood next to him, felt that something was not quite right. Liu Gang's group of 11 all fainted during their visit, and Chen Gu came to visit on his own, so even if he fainted during the process, in the end, it would feel like Chen Gu was the more impressive party of the two. This is too cunning. Qing Ming gritted his teeth in anger, but he could not do anything to Chen Gu but smile and wave at the camera to show the kindness and openness of the futuristic theme park. The person standing right next to me is a worker at the futuristic theme park. He is also one of the designers for their haunted house. Speaking of which, I am quite concerned about his colleague. At the end of the day, he fainted at New Century Park. I wonder if he has woken up at the hospital yet. I do not wish to have other people say that we are trying to shirk the responsibility. Before Chen Gu could finish, Qing Ming quickly jumped in to cut him off. Mr. Chen, we are all ready, you can start the visit any time. Qing Ming was very afraid of that gab of Chen Ji's. The man was highly sarcastic, and if he was allowed to continue, the futuristic theme park would end up the brunt of the joke. We're starting so soon? Chen Gu followed Qing Ming as they cut through the crowd and came to the entrance of the building. There was a super large screen hanging outside the reincarnation scenario. The videos showing on the two sides of the screen were slightly different. Chen Gu was studying the videos when the sound of an argument came from the visitors who were lining up. A few young men were making loud noises and complaining, why is it that he does not need to line up? We have even purchased the special VIP tickets. This is too much. We are going to make complaints about this. Just you wait and see. Excuse me, I will go and deal with this. Qing Ming ran over and discussed with the few young men before he came back. Mr. Chen, I am so sorry. Initially, we wished to follow your intention of completing the visitation alone, but the few visitors refused to allow that. Do you mind if you let them enter the scenario and accept the challenge with you? Well, with the addition of more people, it should help lower the difficulty of the challenge and the terrifying factor. Lower the difficulty of the challenge and terrifying factor? Chin Gu stared at the faces of the few young men, and the corner of his lips curled up. The timing of their ruckus was too perfect, almost as if it was planned. This should be part of the futuristic theme park's plan, and those so-called visitors should be park workers in disguise. They need to be trained to be better actors, but never mind, the more the merrier. Chen Gu pointed that out directly to show that he had seen through their plan. Qing Ming's expression froze, but there was nothing he could do but to continue to act dumb. Then I will go and tell them to be ready. Chen Gu ignored Qing Ming. He turned to his own livestream. Many people on the internet saw through the futuristic theme park's plan as well, and they were all trying to remind Chen Gu. It will be fine. This way, there will be a fair comparison. About ten seconds later, three men and three women walked out from the crowd. All right, the whole group is ready. So, I will now explain briefly the rules of the game for everyone. Qing Ming pointed at the super-large screen outside the building. 
Our reincarnation haunted house combines the many latest 3D technology to highly recreate the scenes from various ghost stories and horror movies. This a world dominated by ghosts and a recurring nightmare created by man. You will encounter many classic scenes from various horror movies inside the haunted house, and you will be able to experience the most intense sense of terror. There are ghosts inside the scenario that are portrayed by our workers, but some are projections, and there are others that you will have to be careful about. To recreate the terrifying effect to its maximum originality, we have placed some of the ancient paraphernalia from the original ghost stories inside the scenario. If you feel that something is wrong, please do cry for help, I'm not kidding with you. Ching Ming's tone was serious, and when he was done, he even purposely turned to look at Chen Go. Do not push yourself. Safety first. Patting his own backpack, Chinggu said with an equally severe tone, You have successfully made me excited. Our scenario is controlled by the central computer. The difficulty is split into easy, normal, difficult, and hellish, four different categories. Clearing the simple scenario will earn you one point, the normal scenario will earn you five points, the difficult scenario 20 points. And if you can clear the hellish scenario with one go, you will be able to get 100 points. This big screen here will show the point ranking. Currently, the visitor who is placed first at our theme park is a haunted house aficionado. He has managed to clear two difficult scenarios and several normal scenarios, so in total, he has gained 105 points. The higher the point, the higher the ranking. It was as if Qing Ming was purposely luring Chen Gu to pick the hellish difficulty. Is the most difficult category the hellish difficulty? Chen Gu asked Qing Ming. Since we opened this scenario, there hasn't been anyone who has been able to clear the hellish difficulty. Theoretically, that should be the hardest difficulty, but... Qing Ming paused for dramatic effect before continuing. There is a method where you can increase the difficulty level and that is to challenge two hellish scenarios at the same time. Since the scenarios are controlled by the central computer, if you choose to challenge two scenarios at the same time, you will encounter the ghosts from two different ghost stories. You can do something like that? Theoretically, yes, we can. For example, if you combine the scenarios for Juan and the Ring, while you receive a call from the cursed spirit, you might be ambushed from the back by the ghost from Juan. In other words, your encounters with ghosts will increase. Qing Ming was just showing off his own haunted house. He did not think Chen Gu would be dumb enough to challenge the hellish scenario. First, all visitors need to sign the disclaimer and then set up their own account before finally selecting the difficulty. Then, I will bring you into the scenario. Qing Ming signaled for Chen Gu to come over to the control panel. The disclaimer at the futuristic theme park was signed using fingerprints and facial recognition technology. It was more official than Chin Ji's haunted house, which still relied on pens. After signing the disclaimer, Chin Gu set up his personal account. Considering that the name would appear on the ranking on the big screen outside the haunted house, he did not hesitate and set up his new account with the name New Century Park. I suppose this can be counted as a chance for promotion. Once he had keyed in those few words, the system showed that there were sensitive terms in the account name. Chen Gu was speechless, the futuristic theme park had even considered something as little as this. He gave it several more tries before going with his real name, Chen Gu. Then it was time to pick the difficulty. The other visitors and Qing Ming all turned to look at Chen Gu. You guys want me to pick? Chen Gu pointed at the other scenarios. Are they going to enter the same scenario as me? Yes, the same batch of visitors will enter the same scenario, Qing Ming explained patiently. Hearing that, Qin Gu turned to the other visitors. Are you guys sure you want to follow me? How about you wait for the next batch? Are you looking down on us? Acting tough, is it? Laughable. This man is so funny. Since the other visitors insisted on following him, Chen Gu had no choice. He clicked open the panel for the choice of difficulty and very smoothly moved to the choices for hellish scenarios. What should I do if I want to combine two scenarios? 
This was the first time that Chen Gu had dealt with such a high-tech control panel. First, you click the tab at the bottom of the page for the hellish difficulty, and then you tick the scenarios that you wish to combine among the available hellish scenarios. After you are done, you can click Confirm. A smile finally appeared on Qing Ming's face when he saw that Chen Gu was about to take the hellish scenario. Got it. Chen Gu followed the given instruction and then put his phone away. His ten fingers were like those of a pianist, and he ticked almost more than forty hellish scenarios that were available for him to choose. Wait, wait a moment. Qing Ming wanted to stop him, but he was too late. Chen Gu had already pressed the confirm button. At that moment, the control panel lagged slightly. It was probably because the central computer had to deal with too much data at one time. Even the lights inside the building flickered for a moment. Have you lost your mind? Qing Ming quickly rushed to the side of the control panel. Why would you say that? You did not tell me that I cannot combine 40 scenarios at the same time. After saying that, Chinga lightly nudged the visitor next to him. You guys are on my side, right? He didn't say that, did he? Seeing more than 40 horror movies, ghost stories, and scary scenarios that were being combined on the screen, the few visitors' faces were as gray as ash, but Chen Gu looked perfectly fine. In fact, he took out his phone again to resume the live stream. Honestly, I did not expect your system here to suddenly go down. Don't tell me your designers here have not considered a situation like this happening? How unprofessional is that? Chapter 952 Giving a class to the young boss, the overloading of the data by the central computer caused the system to lag. This was something that no one had expected. When your people came to challenge my haunted house, I provided the perfect service and served them to the best of my ability. Now that I've come here to challenge your haunted house, before it's even started, the machine broke, and your designer even shoved me out of the way earlier. Chen Gu pointed at Qing Ming. I'm not the kind to hold on to grudges, so I shall forgive that slight. I only have one question to ask, when will this be ready? As Chen Gu dropped these cynical remarks, he walked around with the camera like this was his own home, and that naturally caused the workers at the futuristic theme park to get angry. Isn't it your fault that this has happened? One of the visitors who was supposed to challenge the haunted house with Chen Gu growled darkly. How is this my fault? Chen Gu fetched one of the workers and pointed the camera at him. Bro, you can represent the futuristic theme park. Tell the viewers, is this my fault? Don't feel pressured. Just say what you believe is the truth before millions of viewers. This, this is indeed not your fault. It is because our theme park failed to foresee this possibility. Sorry, Mr. Chen, you'll have to wait a moment longer. The worker then hurried away as if worried that he would fail to control his expression anymore. Chen Gu wanted to say something else when he noticed that the workers at the theme park all used random excuses to stay away from him and no one dared to even meet his gaze. The lights at the entrance kept flickering. The control panel could not be used and it showed that it was loading. Visitors were escorted out from the three exits of the haunted house and the workers kept apologizing to them. The system is still combining the scenarios, you'll need to wait for a while. Qing Ming's face was dark. He took seven black wrist bands from the counter. We might as well use this time to explain the rules to all of you. He gave each visitor one wrist band. This wrist band will show your body temperature and heartbeat. When your heartbeat goes over a certain limit, our people will come and lead you out, so no matter what happens, do not remove the band. The account that you registered earlier can be used to activate the wristband, and each activation will employ you in a random occupation. Each occupation has different abilities, and using them reasonably will help complete the mission much faster. After the explanation, the visitors activated the wristband. So, my occupation is a detective? A man with glasses looked at the band. Whenever I enter a new scenario, the band will send me a message telling me a clue hidden inside the scenario. I am a doctor. If my teammate's heartbeat goes over the limit, 
I can use my power to stop the workers from forcibly taking them away. This ability can only be used once. It will be important to clear the scenario, but it might be dangerous, a woman with long black hair who stood behind glasses said. She looked more like an office worker. When this lady spoke, the other visitors naturally lowered their eyes like they were afraid of her. I'm also a doctor. This is such a coincidence, me too. All three female visitors were doctors. At this point, Chinga realized that the supposed randomization as fake like everything else. The doctor's ability could only be used on their teammates. When one was scared until they fainted, with the presence of a doctor, the workers would not come. So, they wished to scare me over the limit three times. Chingu looked at the band, and his action was noticed by all the other visitors. Hey, what's your occupation? The man with the glasses was curious. Me? Chingu did not keep it a secret and showed them his band. My occupation is volunteer worker. I have no power. It only says, likes to help those in need, is spontaneous and casual. Dot. Volunteer worker, is there an occupation like that? A very fashionable man laughed. My occupation is police officer. When the murderer comes near, my wristband will receive a warning message. Friend, you should be careful. I've seen many similar scenes in horror movies where volunteer workers go into an abandoned home to help others but end up being killed by the ghost hidden inside the old house. Normally, the volunteer worker is the first to die, the young man who stood at the back said. He looked like he was still in school, but the man was cunning and did not reveal his occupation. Thank you for your concern. Most main characters of horror movies were detectives, police officers, and doctors. Volunteer workers were among the many extras, but Chen Gu did not mind that. He was not one to care about the rules. If he was ostracized by the visitors, he would not hesitate to join the enemy camp. Then, the people of the futuristic theme park would realize who would be scaring whom. You don't seem to be worried at all. The woman with long hair appeared to dislike Chen Gu. I followed your bet with Lu Gang on the internet. I know you've already prepared to get scared until you faint, so you came alone and challenged the highest difficulty. That way, even if you lose, you won't lose that much face. That's your plan, isn't it? I'm shocked that you see through my so cleverly devised plan. Yes, I am so scared, Chen Gu replied snidely. He was too lazy to deal with these people and walked up Ching Ming. I am live streaming, so before millions of viewers, I just want to confirm with you, what do I need to do to clear the scenario? The normal scenario will have a main mission. Since more than 40 scenarios have been combined together, the preset missions will be a mess, so you will only need to find the hidden exit within 60 minutes to clear the scenario. With so many viewers watching, Ching Ming did not dare to make any false claims. So, I only need to find the exit? No matter what kind of strategy one use? Chingu lowered his head to arrange his backpack. Of course. Our theme park utilizes the latest technology, combining the real and the fake seamlessly to create a horror world. As long as you do not harm the workers and other visitors, you can do anything you want. Ching Ming wished to do more promotion for his haunted house on Chin Ji's livestream, so he did not notice the scary glow that passed by Chin Ji's eyes. Remember what you said. Hearing the difference in Chin Ji's tone, Ching Ming wanted to add something else when the control panel made a sound and 80% of the lights inside the reincarnation haunted house went off. The generation of the scenario is completed. Ching Ming signaled for everyone to gather around him. One last check of your wristband, and I will bring you into the haunted house. He opened a door, and there was a row of seats. Please take your seat and put on the safety belt. There was no light. It was almost complete darkness. You're live streaming, so hold on to your phone. After inspecting the safety belt, Ching Ming walked out and closed the door. Darkness resumed, and one could not see anything. Crying slowly appeared from the darkness. As they tried to determine the source of the crying, the row of chairs started to turn. 
wish to confuse my sense of direction? The chairs turned downward and stopped after ten seconds. The scenario is underground? His feet stepped on the ground, and Chen Ge felt much better. Moments later, some light appeared before his eyes. Then, he observed his surroundings. They appeared to be sitting inside a mini-movie theater, facing a big screen. Chapter 953, Very Interesting, Are You Guys Okay? Can we remove the safety belt now? Do any of you smell that strange scent in the air? When the visitors conversed, the screen and theater started to play a movie. There were seven characters like the seven visitors, and they were seated at the first row of theater. The seven characters in the screen were facing away from the visitors, and the seven inside the screen were also watching a movie. The screen inside the screen started to play a recording. On the day of the soul's return, the seven best friends came to the cinema to watch a movie. They did this in memory of their teacher. This respected teacher's favorite movie was showing on this day of soul's return. At the start of the movie, no one realized anything, but slowly, they noticed that something was wrong. There were shadows moving across the screen, and occasionally, there was this crying sound. A student went to use the toilet in the middle of the movie, but he didn't return for a long time. When one of the others said that he was going to get the missing student, he realized that there were still seven people sitting in theater. Everyone panicked. They removed their safety belts and got up from their seats, hurrying outside, but they did not realize that what waited them outside would be far more despairing. The recording stopped there. The seven visitors inside the screen started to whisper among themselves. They seemed to think that the recording was quite interesting. Have you seen this scene somewhere? Is it from some famous scary movie? The man with the glasses whispered. I can't figure it out. The youngest man shook his head. Even if there is some similarity in the setting, you can't solve this according to the movie. Don't forget that, thanks to a certain someone, we are facing a melting pot of 40 different scenarios. So, what should we do now? We should wait. Perhaps there'll be another hint. The other visitors started to discuss the scenario, but Chen Ge kept quiet. He listened to the discussion as he stared at the big screen. He realized that the scene in the screen was reflecting real life. The visitors were discussing the movie after it was over. Since this is the combination of 40 scary scenarios, the scare points should be more intensive and collected. Chen Ge thought back to the recording. It seemed to mention that everyone removed their safety belt and rushed outside. That should be the hint for the next step, right? We can't stay here for too long, we need to leave. Removing the safety belt, Chen Gu was the first to stand up. Guys, it's time to go. Why are you in such a hurry? The first scenario should be the simplest. We should try to get more information now because it'll only get harder from here. The fashionable man looked to the other visitors. We have limited use of our ability, so I suggest we stick together and help one another. How about this? We'll go around and introduce ourselves so that we can make some plans and arrangements. Before the man finished, Chingu had already started looking for the exit inside the cinema. Hey! What are you doing? Everyone is introducing themselves. Don't forget, you are part of this group. I am not interested in a dead man's name. With his yin yang vision, the darkness of the scenario did not affect him. When he looked around, he noticed that the characters on screen had stopped talking, and crying came out from the speakers. What do you mean by that? Who are calling? Shut up. Look at the screen. Chen Gu pointed at the screen. The characters inside the screen became agitated. Then, they slowly turned their heads around like they had discovered something very scary. The visitors inside theater followed Chen Ji's order and turned to the screen. They stared at the characters until their heads were fully turned around. The seven characters on screen had holes on their faces. Their facial features were dug out, and blood was pouring out from them. One of the female visitors clamped her hand over her lips. This had happened way too suddenly. Before they could react, the seven monsters inside the screen suddenly stood up and jumped out through the screen. A.H. 
visitor screams echoed inside theater. Even Chen Ji's eyes widened. With the aid of various technology, the scene was very authentic. The seven projections appeared like real ghosts. This is interesting. The other visitors were given quite a fright. Even they did not expect this to happen. The haunted house at the futuristic theme park is controlled by the central computer. While inside, their workers might be given various aids, but they have no idea what will happen next. After all, this is a combination of 40 scenarios. The designers probably didn't expect this to happen. Chen Ge studied the other visitors. They were not wearing any earbuds, so they could not be communicating with the people outside. They wanted to scam me, but now they've been dragged down into hell with me. Chen Ge smiled wickedly. He had already decided to make good use of these six visitors. With a dry cough, Chen Ge turned to the rest. I told you to leave in a hurry, but you all refused to listen. These seven projections are just the beginning. If you paid attention to the story, you would realize that there are at least two more ghosts in this theater. Two more ghosts? One is the teacher who likes to watch movies. He is probably the extra person that replaced the student who left. The other one is the ghost who has been following us since we sat in the chairs. She likes to cry. As long as the crying is around, it proves that she has not left us. Chen Ji's analysis stunned the visitors. They had experienced the same things, and they had only been in the scenario for less than three minutes, how did he manage to come up with so many observations? Stop wasting time. Let's find the exit. As Chen Gu turned around, he saw an additional figure sitting on the chair behind him. He was curled on the seat, as if preparing something. The light in theater was dark, if not for his yin-yang vision, Chen Gu would not have noticed this person. At the same time, the crying became more obvious until it sounded like it was ringing in their ears. The few visitors were panicking as they hurried to find the exit. As long as they can help me find the exit, that's fine. That will save me some time so that I can explore the scenario further. Chen Gu purposely walked around the hiding spot of the person before heading to down the other direction, making the person feel lucky that they had not been discovered. The combination of 40 scenarios means that no one knows what will happen next. I can make use of this in two ways, I can have my own employees to assume the role of a projection to follow the haunted house workers, or I can take the roles of the actors myself to chase after the visitors. Chen Gu scanned the walls of theater. It was covered in posters from many classic horror movies, like Saw, Dr. Skullcracker, and Jack the Ripper. I agree that the occupation of volunteer worker matches me, but everyone knows that will only serve as a pastime. Chapter 954, it's ruined at the start the ghosts on the screen inside the mini-theater started to flicker, and the crying moved from inside the screen to outside like it was hiding among the visitors. The already dim lights began to flicker and the seats were shaking. Even the floor itself started to spin, and a little girl's laughter appeared in the speakers. A woman's crying, a little girl's laughter, and the worker hiding behind the chair, this theoretically simplest scenario had three ghosts. We should leave now. Chen Ji's gaze moved away from the movie posters. He had already determined what his future occupation should be. No. The man who had the police role denied Chen Ji's suggestion. From the cold sweat on his forehead, it was clear that he was afraid. The ghosts will come soon. Do you want us to wait and meet them? It was not that Chen Gu was being kind. He just felt like bringing these people with him during the livestream would make the event more exciting. Other than that, he could use them to lead the way and his scenario completion speed. I. I came here yesterday to challenge the haunted house. I was playing a medium difficulty scenario. The fashionable man ignored the hinting glances from the others and spoke openly. This theater is just the first level. In the medium difficulty, the theater is used to give the visitors some warnings for during the visitation and introduce the background of the stories. There are two scare points. One is the chair that will shake on its own and the second is the teacher that is hiding among us. Please continue. 
The man's expression showed that he was not lying, and Chen Gu did wish to know what the man was trying to say. But this time, there was not only no introduction and warning, there wasn't even the most basic safety information when exploring the haunted house and not even a hint. Plus, the last time I was here, I didn't run into the seven ghosts that suddenly jumped out from the screen, the crying, and the laughter, so I suggest we stay here, for now, and get to know everything we can before we move on to the next scenario. After all, this first scenario should be the simplest. To be more accurate, the role played by this visitor should be the guide. He knew the locations of all the scare points and traps, but the situation that they were in had completely strayed away from his expectations. This is all his fault for challenging 40 scenarios at the same time. The danger level has basically increased by 40 times. A smaller girl pointed her finger at Chen Gu. I wanted to do this alone. It was you guys who insisted on following me. So, how is this my fault? Chen Gu did not turn around to answer. He had already found the exit. There were two curtains of black cloth next to theater, and behind the cloth, one could see a doorknob. Now is not the time to discuss that. The youngest man walked to stand between Chen Gu and the other visitors. We'll vote for this. When the visitors were conversing, the female office lady with long hair silently took out her phone like she was communicating with someone. The combination of 40 scenarios had hiked up the difficulty to an unimaginably level, and they too were afraid. The visitors were discussing hotly among themselves, but Chen Gu ignored them and walked to the curtains of black cloth alone. If the actor hiding behind the chair wishes to get me, they will have to go through the visitors. The visitors are clearly not on my side, but they will serve as a good meat shield. Chen Gu ignored the dead body projection that was on the screen and pulled back the black cloth. The exit is this way. The moment his hand landed on the doorknob, static interrupted the speakers, the girl's laughter turned shrill, and the whole scenario appeared to be changing. There is a second layer to this place? Chen Gu pulled on the doorknob. He was about to pull the door open when five pale fingers suddenly reached through the gap to grab his wrist. A chill came from the back of his hand. Before the owner of the hand could react, Chen Gu grabbed the hand back. This should belong to a girl. The fingers are too slender for a man. Before he could find out more, the five fingers slithered away from his palm like the girl behind the door was given a shock. He pushed the door, completely open. Outside the theater was a small path that could only fit two people at a time. The sides of the path were sealed up by wooden boards, and human body parts were pinned on them like some grotesque art. This is not good. The police officer knew something. When he saw Chen Gu open the door, he screamed, once the door to the next scenario is opened, all the ghosts in this scenario will make their move. We must leave now. The ghosts are coming. The seats shook harder, and the dead people in the screen moved. As the crying and laughter grew louder, a girl hugging a doll poked her head out from the corner, and the four walls around them leaked blood. Something snapped, and the worker who had been hiding on the back row slowly stood up. He wore the same outfit as the dead teacher inside the video, but there was no blood on his face. My good children, you're finally back. Then something in his mind seemed to snap as he charged at the visitors. Run. Chen Gu was the first to get out from the room. He had just stepped out when a bleeding cleaver aimed for his neck like it was going to decapitate him. With his senses sharper than most, Chen Gu bent over to evade it. They are going so far as to kill me outright? With a frown, Chen Gu took another glance. The cleaver was also a projection. That was quite realistic. Being attacked like that, anyone would be scared, and Chen Gu had instinctively ducked to evade the danger. Chen Ji's reaction was calm, but the visitors behind him were not so lucky. The police officer followed behind Chen Gu. When he saw the cleaver come at his neck, he almost fainted. Even the police officer didn't know about the cleaver. Did they not tell him about this? With the combination of 40 scenarios, even the workers themselves did not know what would happen next. Quick! We must go! 
The wristband is telling me there are murderers getting close to us. Before he could calm down, the police officer saw his wristband glow red. This was the police officer's ability. Even though he could not sense specters and monsters, he could sense the approach of murderers and madmen. The end of the narrow corridor echoed with the sound of whistling and blades hacking on the wall, something was approaching. Some of the visitors still had not escaped the theater. Considering what had happened earlier, Chingo volunteered to bring up the rear of the group. The police officer led the way and took the other visitors hurriedly away. Chingu waited for the last visitor to come out before he grabbed hold of the doorknob and closed the door to theater. He was about to leave when something strange happened. A scream came from inside theater, and it sounded like it was elicited by the teacher. Chapter 955, Recurring Midnight Why Would the Actor Scream? Chingu was a haunted house operator himself, and he had heard multiple screams in his life, so he could be certain that actor was not acting. He had really run into something scary, that scream could not be faked. This is getting interesting. Even the workers themselves are getting the scare of their lives. The door that led out from theater was being knocked on, and the scream grew louder. Chin Gu wanted to open the door to take a look, but he realized that the door was locked. Combining projection technology and actual actors is a good idea, but there's bound to be some accidents. The scream had not stopped, and the whistle from the other end of the corridor was getting close. The lights went out. With his Yang vision, Chin Gu saw a man wearing a chef's outfit at the end of the corridor. He was fat, and the white outfit was stained with blood. The pocket around his stomach was even stuffed with half of a human head. A man-eating chef? The shoes worn by this actor were custom-made and softened his footsteps. Now that the lights in the corridor were off, he was walking toward Chin Gu with his laughably huge cleaver. In a few seconds, when the chef was close to him, the lights would come on again to scare him. That's not a bad idea, but I can see in the dark. The chef swiftly approached Chin Gu, and the latter started to run. No wonder the corridor is so clean, it's to prevent the actors from tripping when they are chasing after the visitors. After all, there is no light. Chin Gu glanced at the wooden boards on the wall. Should I pull one off and place it on the ground? The chef won't expect a surprise like that. Chin Gu quickly abandoned that thought. What if he injured the actor? Ten seconds later, the lights came on again. The chef waved his cleaver madly with a guffaw, but he soon realized that there was no one before him. Chin Gu had already run down the corridor. Ah? Catching his breath, he laughed like an idiot for so long before he realized he was laughing to air. When the chef saw that Chin Gu was looking at him from the other end, he had no choice but to continue that maddened laughter to keep up his character. That is the butcher from hell. He will make stew out of his captives. I've seen him in a movie before, the youngest man shouted as he ran. He's coming to get us. A girl turned back and saw the chef, letting out a shrill scream. Probably due to the awkwardness from before, the chef waved his cleaver and ran faster toward the visitors. This way. As the distance was closing, at the last moment, the police officer found a door. Wait. Don't go in there. The man with the glasses wanted to remind him of something, but it was too late. The police officer pushed the door open. The other visitors did not think too much as they followed him. Chin Gu was the last one to enter. By then, the chef was very close behind. After he got in, he closed the door. Bang! The wood chips flew over their heads. A large crack was chopped open by the cleaver at the top of the door. The wooden door shook, someone was crazily banging against the door. This door won't hold on much longer. We have to find another way to leave this room, the police officer shouted. When I visited this place last time, the difficulty was not this high. We only needed to find a mannequin that represented a dead person before the clock on the wall struck twelve. By the way, the mannequin was needed in a later scenario, so we should carry it with us. I have a question. Chen Ge raised his arm. 
Since you have already visited this place and knew what will happen in this room, how many pieces of the carcasses do we need to find to be considered successful? Pieces? The police officer was startled. Aren't dead people normally counted in bodies? Look at the fruit plate on the table. Chin Gu pointed at the exquisite china bowl on the coffee table. On it sat th three plastic apples, a cluster of grapes, and five broken fingers. Fingers should be a piece of the human body, right? This wasn't here last time. The police officer looked at the other visitors in shock. After a temporary exchange of glances, he rushed into the bedroom. The last time I was here, we found the dead body under the bed. Before the rest caught up to him, the police officer pulled back the bedsheets. He was shocked when he saw that the space was empty. That's impossible. How is that impossible? When the difficulty increases from medium to hellish, it's normal that we need to search for more things. The man with the glasses was calm. My occupation is a detective, so when I entered this place, I got my first clue. He looked at his band. The skull is inside the freezer, on top of the fridge. Two of the girls immediately moved away from the fridge. Only the woman with the long hair did not mind it. She personally walked to open the fridge door. Now I have good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? The woman's face was pale. What's the good news? Other than the head, there are the mannequin's small arm and the other five fingers inside the fridge. Then what's the bad news? The mannequin is chopped up even further than I expected. The woman felt her stomach turning. No one had experienced the hellish version of the reincarnation haunted house, they would be the first batch. Even though they knew about the general plot, with the central computer controlling everything, the difficulty of the most basic mission had been increased to an impossible level. We need to move faster, we still have four minutes. Chinga looked at the clock on the wall. It was 11.56. The knocking is still going. The fat chef is outside the door. Other than that, listen up. The crying hasn't stopped following us. It is merely covered up by the louder knocking. Holding his breath, Chinga added, by the way, the girl's laughter hasn't disappeared either. So, if we do not hurry, we will be cornered by a cruel chef and two ghosts. This is the hellish difficulty. The police officer was nervous. At the beginning, we're ambushed by three ghosts, and we're only at the second scenario. You are being too optimistic. Don't forget, there might be a new ghost hiding in this new scenario. As time goes on, more ghosts will be following us. Even though most of them are actors and projections, there is a small chance that they are things that we cannot explain. After all, it is your designer who told me this haunted house is filled with authentic haunted objects. Chen Gu was still live-streaming. He cleverly let slip a few hints to build up for what he would do later. When he released his own employees, he could push all the blame to the futuristic theme park. Walking to the fridge to take out the head, Chinga realized that the mouth was puffy. There was something stuffed inside. He reached his hand into the mouth and soon found a ball of paper. What are you doing? The woman with the long hair saw what Chinga was doing and felt disgusted. Too lazy to explain, Chinga took out the ball of paper and read the message on it. I realize I have sunk into a recurring nightmare. Every night at midnight, I am murdered in different ways, and just as I am about to die, I wake up from my dream. Most despairing of all, the time at which I wake up from the nightmare is always 11.56 p.m. Chapter 956, Weakness of the Projection Every time the man wakes up, it's 11.56 p.m. When I was glancing at the time, it was exactly this time that was showing on the wall. Chen Gu turned his head to the wall again. The clock had moved the time to 11.57 p.m. A recurring nightmare does fit the overall theme of the haunted house quite well, so the perfect way to clear this scenario should be to break through this circle of nightmares. Chin Gu moved the fruit plate on the coffee table to the side and placed the pieces of the mannequin that they had found so far on the table, the first change to this scenario will probably happen in three minutes. 
You guys had better find the remaining parts of the mannequin before the time runs out. We all belong to the same team. Can you please use a more polite tone when addressing your teammates? One of the girls wanted to say something else, but was stopped by the man with the glasses. The group split into two, and they started to explore the scenario. The scenario was not that big, it only had four rooms in total. With the living room that they first entered as the center, the room on the left-hand side was the bedroom, and the right-hand side led to the kitchen and bathroom. The visitors ransacked the places and overturned all the drawers and cupboards to look for pieces of the dead body while Chen Gu sat on the sofa in the living room studying the mannequin head. On medium difficulty, the visitors only need to find the mannequin of the dead body to move on from this scenario, but will the condition of clearing this part of the scenario change now that the difficulty has been upgraded to hellish difficulty? He held the paper note that he had pulled out from the mannequin's mouth. Every day at midnight, he is killed with various methods. Is he in a nightmare that he cannot wake up from, or are the deaths that befall him every night real? Ah. A scream that came from the bedroom interrupted Chen Ji's thought. Moments later, a female visitor ran out from the bedroom, and the youngest man followed closely behind him. He was holding a bloody axe in his left hand and the leg of a mannequin that had been chopped into three parts in his right. I found this under the dresser, and other than that, I also discovered this. The man tossed a windbreaker onto the sofa. There are parts of the mannequin stuffed inside the pockets. I suggest you all come and take a look. I do not think I can manage this alone. Chin Gook placed the mannequin on the coffee table and then followed the young man into the bedroom. The dresser's doors were open. All the clothes inside had traces of blood on it. There was a base of a lamp that was bloodied lying at the corner of the dresser. The axe was also found inside the dresser. It is just a prop, the blade is not sharp. The young man's expression was calm. It did not appear like he was scared by this discovery. The dead body was placed together with the murder weapon. Chin Gu seemed to understand something as he turned to look at the living room. On the coffee table sat a fruit plate, and on the fruit plate sat five fingers and the blade of fruit knife. The fridge had a human head, and the tray underneath the human head had a dining knife. He took out all the clothes from the dresser, emptied all the pockets, and placed all the mannequin pieces that he could find on the table. The other visitors all looked at him. Even though they knew that the pieces were fake, it did not stop them from feeling disgusted and affected. The more they studied it, the more they felt fear toward Chen Gu. The man not only did not show any fear, he even placed the pieces of the mannequin back together. Looking at how focused he was, it was as if he was completing a jigsaw puzzle. Doesn't he own a haunted house? Why would he be so familiar with human anatomy? Perhaps he used to attend Zhejiang Medical University. That would explain why the students often go to visit him. They are there to support their senior. An increasingly complete mannequin started to appear on the table. With his two talents of living doll and mortician's makeup, Chinga had a deep understanding of the human body. After turning out all the pockets, Chinga finally found the thing that he had been looking for. He found a second paper note inside one of the coat pocket. This is an inescapable nightmare. I have to find a way to end it. I can't sit here idly for it to crush me. What did you discover? Just as the man with the glasses asked that, the clock on the wall suddenly chimed. It was finally midnight. With a cuckoo sound, the small door under the clock opened, and a cuckoo bird sprang out. Strapped to it was a black reddish heart. Be careful, the youngest man suddenly screamed. He looked at his wristband and retreated into the crowd. No one knew what the occupation of this young man was, but from his reaction, his occupation appeared to be one that could sense danger. A creaking sound echoed in the room, the sound of water came out from the bathroom, and the curtains in the living room moved on their own. Other than a woman's crying and a girl's laughter, there was a third voice. It sounded like someone mumbling in his sleep. It was very incoherent, but it was certainly the sound of a man. Something's coming. The dresser in the bedroom creaked noisily. The visitors turned to look at it. 
The dresser that Chen Ge had emptied earlier somehow had a piece of clothing hanging in it. It was a blood-red jacket. Blood trailed down the clothes, and it swayed lightly inside the dark dresser. The police officer and the other visitors were squeezed in the middle of the living room. This event appeared to be something that was outside their expectation again. A red specter? Chin Gung narrowed his eyes and focused his pupils. This was his natural instinct when he saw bloody clothes. The hanger of the dresser dropped to the floor, but strangely enough, the blood jacket was still floating in the air. When everyone's attention was attracted by the red specter, the television in the living room flickered, and it switched on by itself. The sudden light caught everyone's attention, and they turned their heads. The television screen kept flickering, and between the different images, one could make out a blob of something dark. The dim lights above their heads fluttered several times before they went off completely. Now they could only borrow the glow from the television screen to look at their surroundings. Wakey wakey. Who is speaking? A strange man's voice came out from one of the rooms. All the visitors turned to look at it. Bedroom. Look at the bedroom. The swaying red jacket had already floated out from the dresser. While everyone's attention was pulled by the television, the jacket had moved from inside the dresser to hang on the door of the bedroom. Don't be afraid. We'll go and take a look at it together. The police officer sounded so nervous that Chen Gu started to suspect that they were not workers at the futuristic theme park, but actual innocent visitors. The police officer and the man in the glasses approached the bedroom. Just as they were about to reach the door, the half-open bedroom door was pulled back, and a wounded arm suddenly reached out to drag the red jacket behind the door. Before the police officer and the man with the glasses could react, a decapitated head poked out from behind the door. He held a bloodied axe and swung it right at the police officer's head. The police officer was so scared that he crumbled to the ground. He screamed as he ran away from the attack. The strange man charged out from the bedroom and waved the axe at everyone in the living room. The harrowing screams of a man could be heard echoing around the living room. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. The visitors were busy as they tried to save their lives. Only Chin Guth stood where he was. The waving axe cut through his body. The strange man ran past him and crawled into the bathroom. There are red specters among their projections. When Chin Guth saw the man, he knew that it was only a projection. As realistic as the blood on the man was, the blood did not drip to the ground, and the door that the man touched was not stained by blood either. Only when the lights dim will the projection be able to appear, that should be the limitation of this technology. That was too scary. The police officer stood up while holding his chest. We need to find the rest of the body. We can't stay here any longer. There is no need to be in such a hurry, I have basically understood what happened inside this room. Chin Gu picked up the head that was sitting on the table. The clue was hidden in that projection earlier. If you look closer, you'll realize that the projection had the same face as this human head. What does that explain? The police officer looked at Chen Go holding the head, and for some reason, he felt like the man had done this exact motion many times before. The first paper note says that the owner of this place was killed by someone with various methods at midnight, pay attention to the words that he used here, killed by someone. How could he be sure that his killer is a person and not a ghost? Chin Gu then showed the rest the second piece of paper note. The new paper note says that when he prepared to resist, a murder weapon was placed beside each piece of dead body. That can only mean one thing. We do not have the time to listen to your story. You only need to tell us what we should do now. The door was chopped by the cleaver again. The chef could be coming in at any moment. The owner of the room was killed every night, and the killer is himself. That is the recurring nightmare that has trapped him. Chin Gu was quite impressed by the scenario constructed by the futuristic theme park, but probably due to the time constraint, it lacked some polish, so the details were not as perfect as he would have hoped. Then how are we supposed to escape? 
Kill the house owner again? The man with the glasses asked Chin Gu when a scream came from outside the door. It seemed to be the scream of the chef. What is this? Open the door. Open the door. Please let me in. The chef suddenly banged incessantly and heavily on the door. The frame shook violently before it was followed by a heavy thump, which founded like the chef, collapsing to the ground. Then there was silence. What is the meaning of this? The visitors inside the room looked at each other. The woman with the long black hair made a silent and quick signal at the police officer. The police shook his head lightly, and his face was getting pale. How come the noises stopped? Chen Gu walked to the door and grabbed the doorknob. He looked through the gash that had been made by the chef's cleaver on the door. The chef was no longer there, and in the airy corridor stood a little girl who was holding a doll. The girl had appeared in theater earlier. Half of her doll's face was burned off, and it looked scary. Chen Gu used his inyang vision, but he got nothing. There was nothing out of place that he could see from this little girl. What did you see? The police officer asked Chen Gu in a whisper. Chen Gu was leaning against the door. His eyes were looking through the hole made by the cleaver. He was worried that the chef might suddenly appear, and the cleaver might land on the same spot again. The chef is gone. I believe this is purposely arranged by the haunted house. When Chen Gu said that, he made sure to pay attention to the reaction of the people around him. The visitors in the room did not seem to anticipate something like this happening. His grip tightened, and Chen Gu was about to open the door when the police officer next to him stopped him. Just now, the chef desperately wanted to enter. That means that he ran into something scary outside the door. If you open the door now, the thing that the chef met earlier might just get into the room. But if you do not open the door, you will never know what he ran into. Chen Gu was on another extreme from the other visitors. We are a team. You might not care about your personal safety, but you can't drag us down with you. The police officer was so desperate that he grabbed Chen Gu by his arm. He used extreme force to stop Chen Gu from opening the door, he was not acting. Through all these details and other observations, Chen Gu was certain. There really was something hiding in the futuristic theme Park's haunted house. The police officer knew about it, but he did not share it with his colleagues. Fine, then we will continue with the puzzle solving. Chen Gu lifted his head to look at the wall. When the projection of the red specter ran into the bathroom, the time had returned to 11.56 p.m. Time had essentially reversed, but the crying and the girls laughing did not stop, and the lights did not come back on. Chapter 957, Reflect on it, with every reincarnation, the situation becomes worse. We'd better find the rest of the mannequin as fast as we can. I have no idea what kind of new monster will appear at the next midnight. With the experience from before, all the visitors started to become more serious in their search for the body parts. Chen Gu showed incredible promise. He stood from the angle of a haunted house designer and found a half of the body parts alone. Many body parts were hidden in very secluded corners like underneath cracked tiles, behind the toilet, in the sewage pipes, and so on. His professional technique and acute senses caused the visitors around him to feel a strange chill. At 11.59 p.m., the group placed the pieces of body parts on the coffee table. The situation was scary to say the least. The visitors stayed far away from it. Only Chen Gu was sitting alone at the coffee table. The five internal organs, spine, four limbs, head, and human skin, the design of this dead body is very detailed, but the feel of the touch is the drawback. It does not feel like the touch of normal human skin at all. The difficulty of a hellish scenario was too high. If not for Chen Gu, they would have spent a lot of time trying to find the dead body parts, and then putting the parts back together would take even more time. In less than a minute, Chen Gu basically had rearranged the body parts to their correct position. The clock on the wall chimed again, and the second midnight had arrived. The television gave off this static noise, and the pots and pans in the kitchen fell to the ground. 
The dresser door slowly opened, and everyone saw a wounded man, curled up inside it. His face was frozen in fear, and he held a sharp knife in his hand. Then the group saw him crawl out from the dresser and charge at Chin Gu at an incredible speed. Sitting on the sofa, Chin Gu did not even budge, and he allowed the man to face through his body. Yet another projection? Even though this was the second time, they had seen a projection of a dead man, so the group was given quite a fright. The time on the clock returned to 11.56 p.m. The second reincarnation was not that scary. It was a mere repetition of the scares from the previous reincarnation. There will a projection that appears at midnight. As long as we get used to that, this scenario is not that scary. The man with the glasses laughed drilly. Are you glasses fogged? Can't you see that the flickering frequency of the television has changed? The time that we are left stranded in the dark has gotten longer and longer. Chen Gu did not raise his head. The walls around us have started to bloat with blood. The little girl from the previous scenario should have joined us this time. The bedsheets have been replaced on the bed. None of you have re-entered the bedroom, so this proves that other people entered the room this time. At the next midnight, a real person might appear, and the first two times are just the system trying to make you lower your guard. Chin Gu said a lot and the man with the glasses was stumped. In the end, he could only mumble, the room is so dark. Even if my glasses aren't fogged, no one would notice these details. When they conversed, Chen Gu had completed the dead body. He turned to look at the police officer. How did you get out the last time you came to visit? We found the dead body under the bed, and there was a diary inside its pocket. It recorded the things about the owner and the map of the surroundings, as well as the key, to open the window. The police honestly volunteered the guide. The key to open the window? Yes, there is a big lock on the key and by jumping through it, we will reach the third scenario. The police carefully entered the bedroom. He pulled back the heavy curtains, and behind it was a black window that was embedded into the wall. Previously, I assumed the key would be inside one of the body parts, but now I realize that things are not that simple. We need to find the key to leave. Chin Gu looked at the rearranged dead body on the table, and his expression changed. What's wrong? Everyone gathered around him, and they saw Chen Gu pick up the phone that had a black screen. He had been too focused on piecing the body parts back together, so he had placed the phone on the table, and it had livestreamed the whole process. When he was done, he finally realized that his livestream had been banned again. He quickly logged out and restarted the stream, but it showed that the service was blocked because the host had violated the streaming rules. The livestream was blocked but the number of online viewers was still close to a million. The viewers who had been watching laughed their asses off. I am a new fan. I've seen the host streams thrice, and of those three times, the stream was blocked in the middle for the two of them. Now I don't even know whether it is my problem or the host's problem. Chow Wen. Impressive host, piecing back a dead body online. Hopefully the host will learn from his mistake and reflect on why the platform targets him every time. Brother Gang is a real man. Chin Gu did not whether to laugh or cry when he saw the comments in the chat room. It was not often a stream would get so popular. The donations that he had received from this stream were enough to fill up the school of the afterlife scenario with security cameras at every corner. I also have no idea why my stream is banned every time. Perhaps because it is too gory, Chin Gu explained as he grabbed the mannequin by its spine and tossed the pieced mannequin to the side. I just wish for a simple live streaming experience to provide good content to my fans, but I still get banned. Chin Gu reached into his pocket and activated the recorder. Then he walked alone to the living room door. At that moment, the woman's crying and the girl's laughter were approaching. The other visitors quickly stopped Chin Gu. Do not go out there. We are close to solving the puzzle. We will find the exit soon. Exit? Chen Gu grabbed the doorknob. Isn't this a door? It is a door, but... Since it is a door, then it is an exit. Since it is an exit, we will be able to walk through it. 
Holding his backpack with one hand, Chingo opened the door and looked down the corridor. Chapter 958, Bad Feng Shui, the chef, could not be seen in the dark corridor. Chingo held the wall and stood in the middle of the corridor, his eyes narrowed as he stared down the corridor. There is a camera in the upper left corner of theater exit and the corner of the corridor. Just how rich is futuristic theme park that they would install two cameras to watch one corridor? Chingu wanted to summon Suin, but he had to avoid the cameras and the other visitors. This was not his own haunted house, so he had to be more careful. I need to find the appropriate time. The best solution is to actively attract the attention of the lingering spirits at this place, and when they appear, I will have Suin or other red specters replace them. A haunted house should be haunted, but the ghosts should have nothing to do with Chin Gu. The static from the recorder traveled into his ears, and Chin Ji's emotions slowly calmed down. The woman's cries and the girl's laughter elicited no response from him. Come back. What are you doing? The police officer and the other visitors crowded at the door. They saw Chin Gu bend down to pick up a doll. What are you doing? His fingers caressing the burnt face, Chin Gu looked at the doll's dark eyes. Did any of you notice a little girl holding this doll earlier? I did. She seemed to come out from theater. The police tried to remember. But why would you suddenly ask about that? When I looked out through the gap on the door, the chef was gone, but the girl was walking toward us holding this doll. Yet, when I opened the door, there was no one in the corridor, except for this doll with a burnt face abandoned on the floor. Chin Guk carried the doll in his embrace, and after some thought, he added, no, it was not abandoned. It was more like someone had purposely placed it there, like they wanted the doll to follow and study our movements. Then, Chin Guk turned to the other visitors. Do you think the haunted house would hire a little girl as its actor? First, you need to stay away from me. The police officer stared at the doll in Chin Ji's embrace like it was cursed. I'm not sure whether the haunted house would employ a little girl or not, but the last time I was here, I didn't see any girl and didn't hear her laughter. Even the crying that we have been hearing, that only appeared at the end of my previous tour. In other words, the girl is not an actor, and she isn't a visitor either, so what could she be? Chin Gu purposely led the visitors down a road of no return. Perhaps she's just a projection, the man with the glasses said softly. Have you seen a projection walking around with a doll? And this doll is much heavier than you think. Chin Gu then tossed the doll toward the man. As the doll flew toward them, the other visitors all moved away from it. They seemed very afraid of the doll. Chin Gu noticed this and remembered it. Why are none of you willing to take it? The doll landed on the ground with its limbs twisted at strange angles. The burnt face looked up at the surrounding visitors, the black eyes staring at everyone. None of the visitors dared get close to the doll. After a long time, the youngest man took several steps back. In horror movies, children and dolls are a classic pair. When you run into these two in a haunted house, it is wise to stay away. Also, there is one thing you need to remember, when we entered the haunted house, didn't the worker tell us that to create an authentic feeling, they have placed many ancient objects of unknown origins inside the haunted house? Then, how can you be sure that this doll is one of those things? Chin Gu picked up the poor doll again and placed it inside his backpack. Hey, this belongs to the theme park. Are you sure it's okay to take it like that? One of the female visitors asked. This could be an important clue, so we might need to carry it with us. If you don't trust me, I can hand it to you to take care of it. Chen Ji's one sentence silenced everyone else. You sure are brave. Aren't you afraid that something might be possessing it? The police officer grumbled softly. He would not get near Chen Gu anymore. If you're guilty of something, everything you see could be possessed, but the truly possessed thing is your pair of eyes. Chen Gu held the backpack with one hand and walked toward theater. He wanted to understand how the girl appeared. Turning the corner, Chen Gu tried to push theater door, but something heavy was blocking behind it that it would not budge. He leaned against the door and used ghost ear to listen, 
but he could not hear anything. The first scenario was seven students bringing the ghost teacher back to theater to watch movie on the day of soul's return. It's a reincarnation of the soul. The second scenario is the owner of the house waking up from his nightmares every night, killing himself again and again. It can be considered a physical reincarnation. Connecting the two scenarios is a corridor filled with guts and internal organs, watched over by a chef from hell. Do these three scenarios appear randomly, or is there an internal connection to them? The camera was above it, so Chin Gu would not just burst through the door. There's a problem with the girl, but since she's not a red specter, she can't leave her item of possession. As long as I have the doll, she will eventually return. The key problem is that this haunted house doesn't appear to have only one ghost. When I entered this place, I felt a chill. Initially, I thought that it was some kind of new technology, but now that I think about it, the chilliness could only be caused by lingering spirits and baleful specters. There are no other possibilities. Chengu knew the difference between Eastern and Western Zhejiang. His parents did not dare to build a haunted house in Eastern Zhejiang, but the futuristic theme park had done exactly that. A haunted house was a heavy in location, and it was an attraction for lost souls. The futuristic even purposely placed some old objects in it. This was not increasing the difficulty, but playing with fire. Eastern Zhejiang was not a lucky location, Chinga knew that too well. The problem of the ghost fetus had not been resolved, and who knows how many doors were hidden in Eastern Zhejiang? Considering the location of the futuristic theme park, it was squeezed in the middle of Liwan City and Jiangyuan apartments, they would form a straight line across Eastern Zhejiang. The theme park is situated at a problematic location. Perhaps after the bridge is built, it'll be much better, but can they hold on until then? The theme park was stuck between two doors, and the haunted house theme attraction was at the deepest part of the park where the Ean energy gathered. It would attract not only the visitors, but also the specters and ghosts. The managers sure have business acumen, finding such a strategic location. Chin Gu did not know Feng Shui but he knew that his family had to move away from eastern Zhejiang. Theme parks are popular, and the crowds in the day should be enough to temper the spirits, but what will happen after theme park closes at night? Even if I didn't come here, eventually, something bad would happen. Chinga felt the heavy responsibility on his shoulders. He found another reason to protect New Century Park, and that was to stop the futuristic theme park from harming more innocent people. Chapter 959, two cycles the road back had been blocked, and Chen Gu did not think that it was wise to break down the door with the camera there. He was afraid the futuristic theme park might use this against him. The crying and laughter are still there, so the ghosts haven't wandered off, but I can't see them. Returning to the room, Chen Gu studied the dead body on the table. For medium difficulty, the key is inside the mannequin, but this is just a passing scenario. For hellish difficulty, we have to solve the puzzle of this room to move on. Normally, that would not be a problem, but the key was the combination of many scenarios. Various projections and supernatural events might appear in places that they should not, and that greatly increased the difficulty of puzzle solving. The few visitors wasted their time at the door. The clock on the wall chimed again, and the ugly cuckoo bird crawled out from the box. The heart around it had been removed, but the blood of the heart stained the bird red. If the owner's reincarnation is endless suicide, then we will have to stop him to break this nightmarish cycle. There are two ways to do this, one is to protect him from himself, and the second one is to kill him ourselves. Chen Gu picked up the axe next to the sofa. Before the room changed, he aimed the axe right at the mannequin that had just been reconnected not long ago. The mannequin was chopped into pieces again, and fresh blood prints were left on its body. It doesn't work? Should we try to use different murder weapons to kill him? But then that would drop us into the same cycle as he did. Killing the mannequin would not break the cycle, Chinga realized that. The haunted house has to operate normally, so they wouldn't encourage something illegal like murder. They need to stay on the right side of the law. While Chingu was thinking, 
the curtains of the living room were pulled open to reveal half a human face. The owner in bloody clothes grimaced at them. He stared at a certain spot before rushing out with a blade in his hand. Unlike the previous two times, other than behind the curtain, two other projections appeared behind the toilet door and under the bed. In the dark, three bloody faces looked at the visitors from different angles and then charged at them like crazy. The projections would not deal actual damage, but even if they knew they were fake, when the projections got near, they would feel afraid. Adrenaline rose, eyes were clamped shut, and people screamed. The visitors squeezed in the middle of the living room, only Chin Gu stood to study the fleeing projections. How curious. Why would all the projections charge into the living room? No matter where they were hiding, in the end, they would commit murder, charge into the living room, and disappear. Is it to make sure that all the visitors are gathered inside the living room? Chen Gu used his finger to trace the movement of all the projections. To his surprise, he realized that, despite their different hiding spots, if he made a line from their hiding spots to the place that they disappeared to, the trajectories formed by the different projections crossed at a spot inside the living room. The target of the projections isn't us, but the sofa at the middle of the living room. Chen Gu nudged the sofa away and knocked on the ground underneath it. It's hollow? His finger slid on the wooden floor and soon found a part that was uneven. He pulled hard to peel that part of the floor up. A light stench filled the air, there was a female carcass stuffed under the ground. The body had many wounds, and she was hugging a black tape in her arms. A second body? All the visitors gathered with their eyes bulging. Even the police officer was stunned. Why is there a second body? The answer should be inside the tape. Chin Gu entered the tape into the player under the television, and the flickering screen changed to show the recording. Lee's paranoia is getting worse. I thought Love would be able to curse him, but I realize how wrong I was. When he saw me talking with another man, he assumed I cheated on him. I was worried that he might enter the kids in his illness, so I sent all the kids back to my parents' home. But he thought I was trying to ruin his relationship with the kids. He then started to doubt if the kids were even his, and they were sent away to prevent him from realizing that fact. Doctor, now he is starting to suspect you as well. He thinks we are trying to cooperate to kill him. When he's acting up, it's so scary. One night, I woke up and saw him kneeling on the bed, staring quietly at me. Imagine how frightened I was. I am really afraid. I no longer dare to stay in the same room as him. He sleeps in the bedroom, and I sleep in the living room. If he sleeps in the living room, I lock myself up in the bedroom. Doctor, your medicine is working, Lee's current condition is very stable. Although we still haven't moved back together to sleep in the same room, that is probably we're both so tired. But now, even if we're sleeping in different rooms, I feel uncomfortable at night. I keep feeling there is a thief hiding inside the house. Tomorrow, I'll go install a surveillance camera in the house. After the narration by the woman, there was a recording from the surveillance camera. It was the quiet of the night, and the woman was sleeping peacefully on the bed. Her bedsheet suddenly moved, and half of a man's face poked out. The man crawled out from under the bed with a cleaver slowly. Then, the screen flickered, and the image disappeared. The screen returned to normal. This time, the woman was sleeping on the sofa. Then, the bedroom door was pulled open. A man held a table lamp and slunk to her side. The image flickered again, and this time, the woman was lying inside the bathroom tub. The man was hiding behind the toilet door with a fruit knife. It was clear from storytelling that woman was already dead, but the man chose to kill her again and again. He was unwilling to forgive her and in the end, he cursed himself to end up in his own cycle of nightmares. There are two reincarnations in this room. One is the dead victim being killed again and again, the other is the man finally losing his mind after murdering his wife. He couldn't tell whether he was the killer or the victim. His paranoia became so serious that he suspected it was he who killed himself. Chin Gu found the key to the window inside the female body's pocket. 
The design of this scenario was interesting. The key to leave was with the wife all along, but the murderer did not know that. He could not escape the nightmares that he had created for himself. This plot is well thought out. The designer is a genius. Chen Guk glanced at the police officer next to him. I hear this place has many designers. Do you know who designed this scenario? The scenarios are auto-generated by the central computer using a large data storage. At least, that's what I heard. When the police officer saw the key that Chen Gu was holding, he was truly impressed. The central computer? Chen Gu asked. How much does this computer cost? I don't really know that. A whole AI system probably costs more than 10 million? The police scratched his head as if he did not understand why Chen Gu would ask something like that. Come, let's move on. Chen Gu replaced the wooden tile. He held the key and entered the bedroom to personally undo the lock on the window. Chapter 960, Alter, the complicated pattern moved on the walls, and the dark window was gently pulled up by Chen Gu. A chilling draft rushed into the room. Chen Gu narrowed his eyes and the muscles of his back tightened as he continued to push the window up. There is something hidden in this scenario. Chen Gu was very familiar with this feeling. His pupils slowly narrowed as he assessed the new scenario before him. On the other side of the window was a Japanese-style room, with Japanese furniture and decor. However, what caught Chen Ji's attention was not that but the walls. All four walls were covered with handprints. The light hanging from the ceiling flickered. Underneath, the boxed light, there scattered the dead bodies of moths, and around them were traces of wax. It was as if someone had stood under the lamp and used a candle to slowly burn the wings of the moths one by one. After the new scenario was revealed, the scenario behind Shingu changed. Blood dripped from the ceiling, the door to the corridor rattled, and footsteps came from beyond it. Before the visitors could react, the door that led to the corridor was shut, and the girl's laughter boomed beyond the door like the child was standing beyond it at that moment. She's back to look for her doll? Even though Chin Gu felt like it was rather inappropriate for an adult to steal from a girl, considering that this might lead her to salvation, it made him feel better. Chin Gu, I've been to this new scenario before. The police officer's initial attitude toward Chin Gu was bad, but without him realizing it, his attitude had changed, perhaps because fear had gotten him without him realizing it. Is there anything to pay attention to? The room is cursed, and the curse is planted on three items. We have to find the three items while being attacked by the ghosts, place them on the altar, and use the divine figurines on the altar to cleanse them. The police officer tried to remember the details. But since this is hellish difficulty, we might need to find more than ten cursed items. Finding items won't be too hard. I'm afraid that whole room is wrapped in a curse, and everything and everyone inside it is cursed. Chen Gu possessed Yin Yang vision. In his sight, everything in the room was dyed with misfortune, and any visitor that came into contact with them would have their luck affected. This was the difference between Chin Ji's haunted house and the futuristic theme park. His haunted house allowed his workers to feed on the visitors' negative emotions to balance out their mood, but the haunted house at the futuristic theme park was in a completely out-of-control situation. The visitors would be harmed when they visited the place, and they would continue to spread misfortune after they left the place. Curses are different from actual specters. Chin Gu was reminded of his experience in Liwan City. The shadow specialized in curses and that seemed to be a specialty of the ghosts from eastern Zhejiang. As he leaped over the window, Chen Gu heard a tingling voice in his ears. The voice appeared suddenly as if announcing the presence of new visitors. When you search for stuff, cover your hand with a layer of your clothes. Do not come into direct contact with anything in this room. Hearing that, the few visitors were confused. They looked at each other with questioning gazes. To prevent Chen Gu from seeing through their act, they did not communicate much, but with the signal from the police officer and the young man, they all followed Chen Ji's instructions. Empty bottles and trash are collected in the corner, 
and there are cigarette butts from three different brands in the cigarette bowl. The clothes and shoes that littered the room are of different sizes. It appears like this place once played host to a small party, and the partygoers have all been drunk. Yes, when on my last visit, we found relevant information in the bedroom. A group of people came to a friend's house at the countryside to play, but it rained so heavily that it caused a landslide. They couldn't return, so they decided to stay at the friend's house overnight. The police officer confirmed Chin Ji's suspicion and was shocked by Chin Ji's sharp observation. The information was found inside the bedroom? Chin Ga entered the bedroom alone. When he pushed open the door, the singing of a girl appeared in his ear. The voice was airy and light, carrying with it a trace of melancholy. Chin Gu could not capture the exact lyrics, but he heard the terms moth and butterfly. The entire Japanese-style scenario had six rooms, and the bedroom Chin Gu was in was the smallest room, read more chapter on novel full blankets were placed on the ground, and random objects crowded the already small room. There were male shoes and clothes and many female hairs. But the most eye-catching object had to be the camcorder fixed on top of a suitcase. The device was screwed to the suitcase, probably because the theme park worried that their equipment might be stolen. Who would steal a cursed item? Chinga opened the camcorder's display and saw the image of four men and three women flicker across the screen. In the day, they spent their time touring the countryside, admiring the scenery, and taking in fresh air but when they planned to leave at night, the sky suddenly opened up. The elders in the village said that the only exit from the village had been blocked by fallen rocks. They had no choice but to stay at the village and leave the next day. The elders said the road was blocked? They didn't confirm that themselves and decided to stay based on other people's words? Chingu continued to look, and the other visitors gathered around. Of the seven, one was a local, and he placed his six friends in his ancestral house. The rain kept pouring, but that did not affect the group's good mood. They drank, played cards, and partied until midnight. At this point, the image turned darker. The seven were gathered in the main living room. The drinks were running out, and a fatty with glasses stood up to use the toilet when he saw an altar built in the darkest corner at the end of the corridor. Normally, altars were placed on a table and this was the first time he had seen an altar that was built inside a corridor. In the video, the drunk fatty staggered to the altar. He leaned closer to the altar and appeared to hear some weird noises coming from inside it. Reaching to grab the black cloth that covered the altar, as he was about to pull it back, someone called his name, and the person who screamed was the person who was recording the video. The fatty was given quite a fright and crumbled to the ground. He crawled up, ignored the altar, and went to the toilet. When he returned, he sidled up to the owner and asked him about the altar. The owner said that he did not know much about it. He went to school in the city alone. One day, he got a phone call from the police that said his parents and grandmother had gotten caught in a landslide when they were coming home, and the whole family got thrown into the river with the car. Now, he was the only survivor of their family. At that moment, another man put down his glass of wine and told the others in a mysterious tone that an altar placed on a table was for ghosts and divinity, but altars built in dark corners were for rearing of ghosts. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.